Is y'all good? Anyways, all right, yo. <laughs> Sneak this podcast. Episode 69. Ow! George, Ryan, Greg, back in the building. I thought we were going to do something. Uh, what? For number 69. No, we're not doing that. <laughs> no, we ain't doing all that. <laughs> you see how quick he was with that? Yeah, we ain't doing that. Even Ryan was waiting for that. <laughs> um, Jared Allen. Oh, 69, Jared Allen. That's a good number, jersey number. Last week he yelled, I didn't even ask for it yet. I now didn't you, even now ask you for let it him yet. slip. No, I was, hey, what, anybody else got a number? I have Oz. nothing. I have nothing. Jared Allen's a good one. I don't think he's going to be a Hall of Famer. Mm. He's going to be a Hall of Famer. <laughs> uh, he's going to be a Hall of Famer. They just give that out to Lyman. Um, that doesn't make any sense. We Today, special episode, we're going to do Q&A. We've never done a Q&A episode. Uh, but first, we're going to talk to you, the co-owner, co-founder? Yes, co-founder. Co-founder of Sunset and Palm Trees Clothing uh, we're with Rob Clemens. Uh, you're in California, right? Yes, Los Angeles, California. Okay, so we was able to uh, take a look at the uh, brand online. So uh, what's those Twitters, Instagrams, anything you got? Yes, yeah, so our Twitter and Instagram is at SPT Clothing. Okay. And then our, and then our website is same thing, SP, uh, SPTClothing.com. Tell us about the brand. All right, so it's based out in Los Angeles. We are a vacation lifestyle clothing brand. Uh, we cater to men, women, and eventually we're going to be getting into kids' clothing as well. Right now, we're doing tank tops. We have T-shirts. Uh, we're going to have hats, and we have sandals coming soon. Okay, awesome. Um, this is Ryan now. So, what made you what made you want to start the clothing brand? Um, me and the other co-founders, we love to travel. So, we've been traveling in different countries and. Uh, a few years ago, we decided to start up a clothing brand, and with me being based out in Los Angeles, it was a perfect fit for us to come up with Sunset and Palm Trees because Sunset Boulevard, that's the logo. And with the vacation lifestyle, Palm Trees, that's pretty much a lot of Caribbean and tropical places that you go to. So we put the two together and ran with it. I'm not exactly sure who I was talking to through email, but he said you guys were going to attend Sneaker Con at Anaheim, right? Yes, we're going to be attending SneakerCon this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. Have you guys ever been to SneakerCon? No, this is going to be our first time at SneakerCon, so we're pretty excited about it. Are you guys into sneakers at all? or? Yes, we're into sneakers, definitely. Um, I love I, I love Chuck Taylors. This It's an old school brand, of course, but, you know, I rock with those. Um, Jordans, okay. um, lately uh, Adidas. That's been pretty hot, so we, we do. We definitely... Uh, How's the uh, yep. how's the brand been doing so far? Uh, so far, it's been picking up a lot of steam this year. Um, we've been getting it out and getting more publicity. Um, we have a few sponsors that are uh, showcasing our brand, and so we're excited about things that are about to come in the next few months. Uh, we've been working really hard, uh, getting out to different celebrities and a few athletes. Oh, really? Has anybody rocked it yet? Uh, not yet. Well, everything is pretty much in formation right now, but in the next few weeks and months, uh, you're going to be definitely seeing it out. So, do you guys feel that this brand is sneaker con ready type situation? Because oh, honest, I- looking at it, you know, it's more of like a laid back brand. Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. It's more of like a laid back style type thing. George and I are both from California, so we understand oh. the brand a lot. Um, it's more of a chill thing. A sneaker con is definitely full of a lot of weirdos. So like, <laughs> they're like you're gonna run into a lot of cats who you know wear some tacky clothing. Like, uh-huh. <laughs> do you feel like you, there's a market in that type of setting for you guys? Absolutely, we have clothes in different color combinations that are gonna be able to work with uh, the sneakers that are out, especially ones that are coming out in the next few months. So with us being true to our brand, no matter what, how ridiculous people, the clothes that they want to wear, they're still going to be able to want to rock with uh, Sunset and Palm Trees brand because it's, it's a very diverse uh, style that we're going to be putting out. Um, how difficult is it to start a clothing brand? Oh, man. First of all, you got to have passion to start a clothing brand because it's, it, people think they can just create a couple T-shirts and then that's it. But it's more to it. You got to know your marketing, your branding, who you want to reach out to and how you're going to expand. Because a lot of companies, they try to start and then they, they plummet right in, right when they begin and they don't have the right infrastructure. 
So we pretty much over the last few years, we've been going to Magic and um, Project Agenda as well and really study the uh, industry to know what we're doing before we actually started. Wait, so, so you guys we, you guys have been doing Agenda? We visited Agenda. We haven't actually had a booth at Agenda j- just yet. Oh, oh, so you've never been to one yet? No, not, we, I, we, I've been there, but we haven't had a booth at agenda oh okay yeah i we've actually talked to agenda i've actually talked to them a few times about us and uh you want to talk about a place that's expensive to get to get in absolutely uh well i mean i think it's a dope brand i think it's something cool and wearable i'm not exactly sure how a lot of sneakerhead cats are gonna gravitate towards it but i'll tell you this when you go to like a sneaker con event talk Uh to everybody talk like okay don't just expect them to come up to your table a lot of them going to come up to the table touch look but Mm -hmm. we always talk about how a lot of the brands who sell clothes oh also the number one thing and i i'm sure you guys are going to do it please be wearing the brand like of course where are the clothes we we run across a lot of tables and events where people are selling us clothing but they're wearing better stuff than they're selling like you (laughs) have to wear I remember a guy was trying to sell us a brand at an event out here one time, and he was wearing Ralph Lauren from head to toe, but he's trying to sell me his clothing. Wow. I'm not going to be interested in your clothing brand if you're not wearing it. Like, you don't have enough confidence in it to make it look dope. I can't make it look dope. Of so, course. I mean, I think that's tough. You guys do a lot of shipping internationally and stuff? Uh, we haven't done anything internationally just yet, but that's going to be the plan for by next year. But we do have uh, international shipping available. So, Okay. What, what motivated you guys to start doing it? Uh, just the vacations that we did, and, and I've always been an artist myself, so I've been drawing and designing my whole life, and I wanted to create a clothing brand, and me and the, my other business partners I've known for uh, a long time, we pretty much put our heads together. Two of them are based out in Houston, Texas, and when they were out here, we just our ideas pretty much matched up, and we said, you know what, let's just go forth with creating a clothing brand, and we started to come up with designs, and from there, it just... It was just like a domino effect, and we ended up with Sunset and Palm Trees. How many people are involved with this brand? We have uh, it's two, three, three of us, actually. Okay, so would you say anybody who's willing to put in the work is worth starting a clothing brand? Because it just seems like the yeah. hardest thing to do. It is. You got to love what you're doing. You got to have the passion behind it because it can get frustrating. You got to put your blood, sweat, and tears into it. And a lot of people, they... They like the concept and idea of having a clothing brand, but they don't understand the hard work that actually goes into being able to build it and get that audience and and have people that want to be able to buy your brand. So they see like, oh, this person got a clothing brand, that person got a clothing brand, and I want to have my own shirts with my name on it or my or whatever, or my Instagram name on it. And that's not the way to be able to start going into that business or any business at that. You know, you got to have a strong plan of what you want to do and how you're going to execute and get to the finish line. What what brands influenced you guys originally? What brands made you want to start your own? I would say originally um, Cross Colors uh, growing <laughs> up. That, that's an old school brand. Wait, wait how old you know, are you? If you don't mind me asking. I'm 30 years old. Oh, okay. What do you know about Cross Colors? <laughs> <laughs> I got an old soul. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> So I say cross colors. Another one will be Shirt Kings. Um, they another pioneer hip hop clothing brand. Uh, from there we have Lacrosse. Um, so we we love those kind of styles, the colors, and mixing that in and being able to give a variety of styles for people that want that laid back feel or you know it, it's it's good for the culture, hip hop music. Right. Well, man, no, we definitely uh, definitely interested in the brand. We've taken a look at it on the website and stuff, and it's definitely cool. We like the hat and stuff like that. Uh, no, we actually su- we support anything that anybody's trying to start. Like, the fact that you're starting it is, is dope and how you started it. And as young as you are mm-hmm. is the thing. We tell everybody, you start something, you got to stick with it. Though a lot of cats, you know, they think the success just comes instantly. Us, in this podcast. You know, we have a sneaker podcast. Right. And, you know, I think a part of us all thought, it was just going to shoot through the roof, but it takes a lot of work to build the audience that we have built. And uh, we want to yeah. give anybody the platform we can. You know, I, it sucks that, you know, we couldn't have any of the clothing right here on the table for everybody to see on YouTube. Uh, but no, nah, keep doing what you guys are doing, man. Keep pushing and definitely keep us in the loop. And anytime, anytime you guys want to come back and talk, man, just tell who, was I, who are they emailing? 
The email? Oh, uh, what was that? Who was I emailing? Oh, you were uh, talking to Steven. That's one of the co-founders. Oh, okay, yeah, man. Tell us, hit us up. And, you know, we definitely want to hear anything brand new you guys got going on. And if you guys are ever in Arizona, hit us up, man. We go get some beers or something. Post up. Do you guys oh, yeah, have your definitely. products in stores yet? Are you planning on only doing online sales? Or how? What, what's the story with that? Right now, we're strictly doing online sales, but we do have um, a few stores that we're going to be talking to. Uh, we already talked to one national chain. I uh, don't want to put the name out there, but um, we're really hopeful about how the brand is going to be moving over the next uh, six to 10 months. So uh, we feel that it's going to be in the stores, especially out in California. Um, Miami is another spot that we want to hit up. So we plan on being on a national scale within the next year or two. Sounds good, man. I mean, I know that's definitely hard work. I'm going to tell you, don't stop, man. Like, you oh, can't. No, yeah. Like, not at all. Like, don't stop. Like, Oh, absolutely. Yeah, we're putting in 17, 18-hour days, and it's the grind that you got to that you gotta put in and be able to get that payout. And it doesn't stop when you get to the top. You got to just keep growing and keep building it. You guys, do, make it a- you guys do pants or shorts? I think I saw shirts, tank tops, hats. Yeah, we do all tops right now. We're going to be okay. doing – we do have uh, joggers for females or actually leggings, but we're going to be getting into joggers uh, by early next year. Um, but right now we're strictly sticking with hats and tops. And then when fall comes, we're going to have our hoodies and our sweaters back in for uh, for that season as well. Oh, that's dope, man. Hey, man, like we said, keep doing what you guys are doing. Everybody check out <clears throat> check them out check out their clothing check out their website and uh like i said don't stop man like i know it's gonna start maybe a little slow a little funny i don't have to tell you you've already been through it but yeah, sunset not, sunset not and palm trees clothing check it out it's laid back it's cool and like i said when you go to sneaker con talk to these cats make them okay. cats pay attention to you because it's gonna be a lot of between the ages of 11. I mean, go talk to the vloggers and the people that have cameras and right. podcasts and whatever else. Do as much media stuff as you can. If you guys have product to give out, look for those vloggers, That's those, a good idea those too. cameramans. Give them them shirts because okay. they do vlogs every single day and they post on YouTube. And they'll wear your stuff. They wear anything that people send to them. And any way that somebody can say in the comments on YouTube, like, yo, what is that brand? Yo, check it out. And like I said, if you ever want to throw something our way, we on YouTube every day, we'll wear it. We'll wear it. We'll support it. Like anybody, oh, definitely. Sure. Yeah, we're going to send you guys out some stuff. Anybody working hard or doing something, we definitely support it. So we appreciate you coming on for this little bit. I'm sorry we can't talk a little longer, but we already had like a bunch of other oh, stuff no, planned you, out. No, it's all good. Yeah, I appreciate you guys for having me on oh, and, of course, and man. Uh, showcasing our brand. Definitely. And good luck at SneakerCon. And I'll definitely post on IG and everybody to take a look at your brand and uh, support you guys. So. We appreciate, appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, <clears throat> um, anybody got pickups? Oh, I forgot we didn't do that yet. Oh, we didn't. We didn't do pickups. Well, that was Sunset Palm Trees. Sun, sunset and Palm Trees Clothing. Awkward transition there. That was cool. I don't know. That was our first time doing a 10-minute no, interview. transition was awkward. Who, mine? Yeah. Uh, to what? Like, Click. Uh, who got pickups? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's my first time. It's my first time talking to somebody for 10 minutes. Usually people that come on, they stay on the entire show. What do you got to pick up so we can get to questions? Pick Are up. you okay? I'm good, He's a little, shook. He's a little shook today. No. I'm not He's sure. Why you make him feel guilty, you know? I'm look, not making me uh, feel guilty. You two like to stare. No, I, like said, stare. I said he made you feel guilty. You're right. And he stared the entire time. Staring at me. <laughs> Anyways, what do you got? He's made, he was gone last week. He's probably antsy to talk about <laughs> non, the nonsense he normally talks about. What do, you, what do you got, real quick? I got Y three Y three Pure Boost Triple Whites that were posted on the IG page and Ultra Boost three point oh multi colors. Finally got my hands on a multi color <laughs> Ultra Boost. Finally <laughs> got his hands on that stuff. Pause and a bunch of Uniqlo Disney Mickey Mouse collab stuff that went on sale. But did sale you have to write today. down what you bought? He did. Ugh. Oh my god, I don't remember. What else you got, Bruh. George? I mean, not what else. Oh, I what got. did you got? What I got. I got the uh, multicolor Ultra Boost 3.0, the black multicolor, I guess. So I am happy. Are you keeping these? Yes. Now, now I you think know. I've been talking about that pair for a long time. <laughs> okay. Now you know the pair you sold today just cancels out. Like you just didn't do anything. Uh, uh, what'd you sell today? <laughs> silver uh, Super Bowl 3.0 with the Silver Boost sold today. The Atlanta Falcons. Yes, the, um, the three to twenty eights. Don Fisher, whatever text message you just sent me was super suspect. 
Don Don just sent me a text that said, "Not yet, yeah, my so man." It was just a picture of balls and a dick. He said, "No, close, close, close though." He, the, the te- <laughs> in response to nothing, Don says, "Not yet, my man. He hasn't busted his nut yet." Well, well that's the hey, thing. Hope you having fun, Don. Um, so, like we said today, oh, what's releasing this week? I got nothing. I didn't even prepare for this, honestly. Uh, something's releasing a Jordan. What is, There's a Jordan yeah, coming you, out. Something wrong with you. Uh, uh, we're doing Q and A's today. This episode is dedicated to the listeners. All listeners, right? no top ten. You no nothing. It's all, all listener, listener appreciation. <laughs> uh, we appreciate. You should have just it. had everybody just come off the streets and get on the mic. Then I'm gonna tell you something that I'm planning on doing in October. Uh, I might include you guys. <laughs> I think it'll be dope too that I'm actually thinking about doing possibly vacation. No, yes, I'm, I ain't going on vacation with you freaks. I know my family. Uh, no, nah, we need to go out stay one day and just get faded. History of flight 13s. <laughs> what the heck is that? The history of flight 13s. I'm gonna get that garbage out of here. They come out this weekend. And this thing, the SB, the Man. Royal One SB High New Edition, Costins bringing skaters back. Man, so nothing. <laughs> I, mean, I'm, I don't know. I don't think there's a, there's no Yeezy, if that's what you mean. Oh, yes. That's what I'm looking for. All right. So anything else that we do? Is that it? Bruh. Yeah, that we, what, what's are you today? okay? Why do you keep asking me that? Though? You you asked for question and answer and got you in I'll a tizzy, you. though. I'm a little like, I don't know what to do. You, you got a headache? No. Lost in this I house? had a headache when I came in, but I mean, I'm good now. You didn't even start the show proper. I know. It didn't feel like I started it right. No. I'm not sluggish and I don't have a headache. What? You know what? If y'all see me not starting it right, you more than welcome to take over it and say, "Hey, you know I got this today." Don't wave your hand at me <laughs> and stop staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> Just staring the entire episode. Oh, so looking deep into your eyes. Let's oh. go. Fine. Let's get to listener questions. Uh, Dang, I what? forgot to record the game. What Anyways, game? you at Team USA quarterfinals is on right now. Oh, uh, nothing gold, important. Gold Cup. Suck. If it's not in the uh, World Cup, uh, okay. if it's not the Olympics, the World Cup, I don't uh, care. Right. Uh, you actually watch soccer, so I don't right. know why you hating. So you're right, but I, don't, I lately I just haven't been in the mood for it. I got that fire stick, and I just been watching everything. Bro. I got my fire stick. I haven't even plugged it in yet, bro. I watched something wrong with you, though. Power Rangers twice, bro. Power Rangers <laughs> is fire. Bro. I watched. I can't even think what else I watched, but I watched a few things. I watched Alf, the very first episode <laughs> of Alf. Weirdest show on earth. All right, absolutely. I used to love that show, Great but show, like though. it's weird. All right. <laughs> I've been uh, watching a lot of Frasier Pretty lately. much just about anything like we put Frasier's on that we show. used to watch is either the, it's timed out or you realize how weird it was back in the day. Yeah, How about like, Frasier? No, Frasier. I didn't watch Frasier. 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 I did it until it was already canceled, and I was like, this is a great show. Yeah. Uh, he's a he's a good writer. He's a good. He does a lot of good work. Man. I think it was because the brother annoyed me or something. He annoyed me, so I just was like, I'm was not going to watch brother it. brother on Frasier? Miles. Yeah, the brother. Oh, that's right. I'm thinking of Will and Grace, too. I hated yeah, Will and Grace. Me, so. The dad was funny. I used to love him. Uh, so, listen Let's get into the question. Q&A. So, we are going to run through every single <laughs> question that was posted on IG. Now, somebody here said, I hit you up on Twitter because I had too many questions. Did you... You didn't send us those questions. Oh, I have them. I'll just ask them. They're basic. Okay. They're nothing new. But that's the homie Jimmy. Shout out to the homie Jimmy. Um, Jimmy Kimmel. So, I was, y'all ready? Yeah. I'm y'all gonna, ready for this? Yeah, I'm going to read, uh, read through them. Let's go. All right. So, Mike Millie online. That's the homie. I actually know him forever. He wants to know best underrated casual sneaker and most underrated hoop sneaker. This is easy. The what? This is easy. What is that? Oh, I didn't even easy. see the hoop. This, this is, is an easy. easy question. Man, I know that. I don't know. What is if, it? Okay, I don't know if there's an underrated hoop sneaker. I mean, as far as like. Oh, there is. It's on my list. Uh, what well, I mean, if you got answers, go ahead. I had to think about it. Oh, so. I got answers. What do you got? <laughs> All right, I have the he, Jordan. He wanted to go last. Look, he think he like had got the thing that's gonna kill the whole. <laughs> I got the Jordan One Low is the most underrated casual sneaker. That's a good one. And I have the Nike okay. Zoom MVP okay. as the most underrated. Uh, yeah, I don't even know why we have to go next. <laughs> yeah, next. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you one to thing. Me. There is nobody more dedicated to a sneaker than Ryan is to the Zoom MVP. Uh, yeah, that's probably the true. most underrated, because it's been on a lot of lists that it shouldn't have been on. The most underrated actual basketball sneaker to play in is Jason Kidd Flight ninety fives to actually hoop in, mm. and underrated. I think Stan Smiths are still underrated. Like they've they've obviously came up now, but yeah, you see, you had Stan Smith across it out. Stan Smiths Stan Smith are out. still underrated. They should be owned by every sneakerhead. They should. Period. 
You got nothing? Uh, Rob ba- Laver. Basketball wise, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't think I would hoop in anything besides Kobe. So I mean, what I would go with is probably what I hooped with when I was in high school. The Jordan Team One. The Jordan Team One was the best Jordan basketball shoe, like better than all the actual Jordans that came out. Jordan Team One was a great basketball shoe until technology started getting better, and then I don't think there's a, actually a great Jordan hoop shoe, actual Jordan shoe. I can't think of one. The like r- the retro line, you mean? Elevens like, aren't better. One through whatever. Elevens might be the best ones to hoop in. Twelves too. Maybe a ten. Maybe a ten. Um, what about casual shoe? Underrated casual shoe. Casual shoe. I mean, I like both answers that you guys gave. Um, of course you do. We're geniuses. Yes. Okay, you just literally called him. Okay, never mind. I'm gonna say, just to be different, because I agree with both of them. I'm gonna say a Nike Boost. A Nike Boost are super underrated. Okay. I mean, they maybe the original colors sold out, but then like you Not know they don't have yeah they're either at outlets or they're restocking all these colors. They're not selling for over retail in the resale market. Yeah, I think Aniki is. I don't know. Even Manor put them on sale. I don't know if he had like limited sizes. Comfortable man. Do them joints on sale? See, when they came out, like everyone thought it was the NMD boost but it's not for some reason it's different it feels more comfortable than like that original nmd i don't i didn't think it was going to be and eh. um it's boostier it is question from tooth gregory two? gregory is i don't know why he's a hater on boost now i don't i don't i'm not a that. hater on boost it's just now it's air like i'm not gonna treat boost yes but especially but anymore. you take it but you don't say like when people say air you don't say oh. <laughs> so you've like it's taken it to the next for level about 30 years if now. you just were like it's regular okay you're but the you anti like, yeah you go like no mm. it's just like oh boost cool you know you walked in with a new pair of boots you want like you <sighs> like it's like oh that's tight that was because of the knit was tight though i mean that's it actually the, looks the better on picture than it does in person no that's not true that's not true all right question number Do two you, did you want to say anything about who you are been speaking with trying to get on the show by the way or because it that's goes, later oh all right we'll save that oops whoa sorry <laughs> um, my computer linked up to the thing. Like, well, I mean, well, then just start playing Boing. Yeah, and stuff but you like know, that. I think I'm actually oh, gonna oh, do that. But I need to record something first. If you start playing that Joe Budden sound, though, like that Twilight Zone, I'm not Rory. I will jump over the table and throw Is that you our down. New transition huh? music? No. So, uh, question number two. Uh, this is by two thirty three. Best basketball player on the podcast. Me. Uh, no. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's not. Yes, it is. No, I will not. play both of you one on one. I'll beat both of you. Easily. No, you hands would not. Down. Yes, I will. What? No, you wouldn't. What? Okay. I will beat you one on one now, or like when we were younger, or now. Right now, I, be, I will. Beat I don't both care of if you. it was from birth till now. I'm the best basketball player on the I podcast. Might you be don't able to hoop beat both anymore, of you at the same time. One. Just because I retire doesn't mean I can't hoop. Anymore. I might be able to beat mo- both of you at the same time. Uh, Ryan, stop. I could definitely beat you one on one. Are you smoking crack? One hundred percent. Bruh, I would bet a, I would bet a pair of DS sneakers on 100%. that. One hundred percent. I would bet a pair of DS You've lost sneakers a lot of bets. You have lost a lot of bets. First of all, I lost a lot of <laughs> I lost a lot of bets. I will on not argue football. with that. I lost a lot of bets on fantasy but football, which out of which is out of my power. Dallas Cowboys too. Anytime. Stop it. Anytime. Any time. I mean, that doesn't even count. Any hoop, any gym, indoor, outdoor, you let me Bruh, know. I would murder you. We'll go one on one, fifteen. Bruh. You'd be so nervous, it's not even funny. Oh bro. no. Bro, I would I've you. seen you dribble a basketball. You broke your hand Dang, trying to basketball. You, you gonna let him talk crack. like that? Yo. Yo. You better have a talk with your boy. You gonna let him talk like that? You better have a talk with your boy. You broke your, <laughs> you better have you a broke talk your, your hand trying to play basketball. You better have a talk with your boy. Hey, All right. let's go. We can film it. No, you know, you better have a talk with your boy. We can now. film it. We're gonna play for something too. It might be like I would give you I'd probably give you five. It'd be like 15 5 we put it 50. What are y'all t- You know what? There is no way. There's it's impossible. It's physically impossible. All right? There's no way. Question number three. This is from Midge underscore L. She wants to know drumsticks. I'm not going to answer the question because I'm. I'm. Uh, what? The last question. What's the last question? The question that you guys are Fine. arguing about. I'm not going to answer it. Why? Because I'm confident in my own game. So we can all play. <laughs> you can have a round robin tournament. <laughs> you can have a round robin tournament of three people. <laughs> <laughs> number three. Or, I'm not going to do numbers. I'm not doing. Midge, Midge underscore L. She wants to know if we eat drumsticks or flat. Bro, if you don't start talking right on this episode, I swear. <laughs> Fine. Drumsticks or flats. What drumsticks. are flats? Flats Wings? are the paddles. Yeah, flats is just the wing, yeah. You eat drumsticks. I only eat with one hand. Yeah, so. drums. drumsticks. I, but, but 
once you learn how to eat them flats where you could just pull that bone out, no. it gets a little better. Learn little how bit. to eat a flat? How do you learn how to eat a flat? In turn, well, you only use one hand, so you'll never, one hand. you'll never be able to. You'll do it. never but see me touch anything if you with two twist hands. Twist, okay, and I'm not talking about just recently learned. I'm saying like a lot of people don't realize this. They just take the flat and bite it. If you twist it and pull the one bone out, then you just put it in your mouth, and literally the whole wing comes off. Yes, you put a bone in your mouth. Okay, next boner. <laughs> nothing. I said you pull the bone out of the wing. I say nothing about putting the bone oh, in I your mouth. I thought he said that. Oh. What are you guys talking no about? No joke. I'm staring at today. you. You're off today. <laughs> I'm staring at you. In my mind, I'm just like he said. Put the bone in his mouth. I'm just all I'm thinking. <laughs> Uh, so we all prefer drumsticks. Wings are yeah, weird. Dr- I like drums, but when you watch those like wing shows with like Rick Ross and them, they all like flats. None of them like drums at all. Like when you watch it, like about Houston or yeah, but you have to hit about forty years old before you start liking wings. Yeah. <laughs> like I have uncles that like just wings, and I'm like, yeah, like they just that's all they order. Really yeah, I'm somewhere. like, why are you like just? The I don't wing? know when the last time if you have the ability to get boneless wings, why would you order a regular wing? I guess that's another thing oh, I don't crazy. understand. Boneless you're wings crazy. are weird. Boneless wings are nowhere near yeah, regular. Yeah, I would never what are you talking about? They're just chicken nuggets with sauce on them. Facts. So? What's wrong with that? Because it's not the same not chicken the same that's thing. on a bone wing. Of they course it's not the same chicken. It's actual like breast meat, no, which no, no. is better. I want the chicken no, off the bone. Yeah. Like, it's better. It's better. It's way no, better. it's not you're better. Out of line. Ordering boneless wings is for kids. You might as well go get ch- chicken nuggets. Well, I'm not. you can't get chicken nuggets and watch the NFL game at the same time. You could if you brought it home. Oh, but I don't want to do that. I'm gonna to go to the bar and get. That's the whole point behind wings. Be a grown up. Do you get wings on the way home in the drive thru No, you Sometimes. go somewhere to get wings. Vic. All right. Vic underscore wings cray. Stop. Vic underscore cray. Shout out to the homie Vic. He lives here. Best sneaker shop in AZ. That's Manor. easy. Stop it. <laughs> I was waiting to see that. what he put on his list. Don't look at me like I'm supposed to say Manor. I love Manor, but it only sells certain things. So what's the best sneaker shop? The best sneaker shop in Arizona. Period is High Point. What high Point doesn't get world? anything. What does anything to you? Are you talking about they don't Pharrell's? get boost? No, they don't what are you get, about they get boost. Go look at their Instagram and see. They, I was in the store. There's boost in the store. High Point is far. Hold from on the a best second. Store in hold, hold on a second. Let's, let's. What's your reasoning behind it? Yes, let's please. let's go for that. They have everything that we wear. They got Asics. They got uh, Prestos. They got Anikis. They got NMDs. They got Vans. They have everything. We're, they don't have Jordans in there. We don't wear those. They don't got gigantic Air Mora Tempos I mean, in there. Y'all, they don't wear those. We cop some Jordans. The sneaker shop You're sells. excited for 11s coming up, all right? So, But that's just because of what they look like. It's, if it's you're a, going off that, then the best sneaker store in Arizona is the Nike outlet at Arizona Mills. Man, that's a hit or miss. You can't go to a store. That's a lottery. Nah, the Adidas outlet's better now, actually, because Stop. of the difference in sale price. No, it's not. Yes, it is. Bro, that's how whack Arizona is. We're arguing outlets. Okay. I'm not saying it's the best store. I'm saying the Adidas out clearance store is better than the Nike clearance store. The it is. The best sneaker store in Arizona is High Point. No, that's you're false. smoking that, you're crap. Absolutely okay, then what smoking. is it, George? You didn't give an answer. What's the best sneaker store in Arizona? Um, I wrote Manor down because I love what Manor does. But if you're talking no, no, about no, no, no. overall Stop. everything, is undefeated. Stop. Oh, okay, that's a good one. He yeah, totally man. forgot about that's it. That's a good one. Undefeated. That's what you want? You want to wear that for all that for 60% off? That's the sale table for 60% yeah. off. And I mean, if somebody said House of Hoops, I wouldn't be mad at him. I disagree. I wouldn't either. I've- Manor, Manor. I love Manor what it's doing. Like, Manor is going to be great. But see, right? Manor also sells, like, EPTM and bags and stuff like that that a lot of places don't sell. High so that, point, like, helps. Literally, High Point sells. But I haven't been to High Point in, like, five years, so I have no idea what they sell. So Herschel, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not making fun of High Point. Herschel, I just think you're crazy. They got published. They I got all that too. stuff. No, you think I'm crazy because... Everybody wants to sleep on High Point now. I nobody loves. I'm wearing okay. Manor now. There I wear a, Manor every episode. Okay. Really? Like, calm down. Well, don't like look at even, me like I'm insane. Like, <laughs> I just said the last time I went in there was like five years ago. There was a point where we, all we did was sit around and make fun of High Point. So now it seems like you're back on. I still make fun of High Point, but it's still the best thing because I'm in Arizona. Okay, it's not. Stop. It's not. All right. November spawned a monster. Two, I'm mean, sorry, three. Oh, two, I thought three. you were reading the question. I'm like, wait, what question. is he right? No, but that's his name. That's his name. I thought you were reading like that. What? November, November spawned, mon- spawned a monster, 323. That's the longest IG name ever. Will you guys be at Snicker Con LA? No. Nope. Do you is, want me no. to answer? Oh, okay, I was just saying. Next gonna question. Be Fuck no. <laughs> oh, that's it. Brandon and Rogers, it's not, 45. And it's not Sneaker Con. I'm there? sorry. It's yeah. not Sneaker Con LA. It's Sneaker Con Anaheim. Facts. Go fuck yourself. Um, not the not our listener, Sneaker Con. 
Brandon Rogers 45. So, and this is probably to me because I always comment this on people's pictures. So, when you comment, we're glad you like them. This is a question for you, obviously. It is. That's what I just said. <laughs> what you're really saying is your kicks are garbage, right? Yes. <laughs> Soulful Mike. Soulful Mike is from the other Sneaker Podcast. In this New is a York good one. That wants to uh, actually do something with us uh, in August. So, we're going to actually we're gonna do something dope with them. Uh, top five NBA players for the upcoming season. That's I easy. hope it's not the same thing that George wanted to do for episode 69. That's easy. Ow. Wee, wee, that's that's an easy one. Uh, who, am I going to go? Sure, go ahead. Uh, I think MVP this season is going to be um, Jimmy Butler. Honestly, do. I think he is. I mean, I'm glad you have something different that's not I do. on my list, but that's kind of weird. Top five players in the NBA, and I'm not. He's gonna, not even gonna be the best player on his own team. No. Let's stop. Carl I'm Jimmy not. Will be. No, no, no. Can I? Can I get my? Can yeah. I get my stuff yes. off? Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. This is episode 69. So I'm gonna need you to chill. <laughs> I'm gonna need y'all to. I'm gonna need y'all to chill. Y'all keep looking funny. I, I'm gonna go with. <laughs> he's taking the. He's taking the contrary hat today. He's like playing your role. No, no, nah. Jimmy Butler. And I'm not going to include LeBron, and I'm not going to include Steph Curry and KD because Why? they're Would they're you? they're reaching legendary. Why do status. you always do that? They're reaching no, legendary. No, 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 status. No, no, no. This says bi- best, this says best the top five, five players, players in the NBA. Not best five you just make up because so you then, have your own rule. Fine. So then we all say LeBron, duh. We all say KD, yeah. uh, duh. They're the best in the world. KD's not number two, but yeah, who's number two? Steph. Mm. Whatever. I don't care. Steph. Steph's okay. not even my top Your five. opinion on Steph doesn't matter. <laughs> KD right. is in my top five. Real quick. Steph is real quick. Let's get through these quick. My top five. Jimmy Butler, Cat from a okay. same team. Right. I'm gonna go. I'm not gonna say LeBron them. I'm gonna go. <laughs> I'm gonna go uh, James Harden. I'm gonna go. You, oh, you, you're like I'm not gonna say LeBron, but I'll say Harden. I'm gonna like, go. What are you talking about? Stop. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go. Chris Paul. <laughs> And then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go Gordon Hayward. You're not going Kawhi Leonard. No. Oh, he huh. doesn't talk. Oops. You're not saying Russ Westbrook. Sorry, I forgot Kawhi. But I feel bad legendary. Now. How is Westbrook he legendary a, and Harden he, isn't? Harden just got you know he's he's teetering. Uh, bro, can y'all say all five? Yeah, LeBron Westbrook kinda, in no order. LeBron Westbrook, Katie Harden, Kawhi Leonard. I kind of feel bad. I forgot Kawhi, but. I don't feel super bad. Uh, Braun, obviously. Steph, obviously. KD, obviously. Russ, reigning MVP, obviously. And Harden. But you could put Kawhi or Harden in. I'm fine with it either way. No, Thanks. you can put Kawhi in place of Steph. You really Curry. went out on a limb. It was. What's the point of the question, though? To go on a limb or just give your top five? You could be different. Okay, my out on a but limb that makes no sense. would include... Uh, MVP Jimmy Butler. If, okay, so let's talk about this. Let's do top five most underrated. How about that? Or top three most underrated. Butler players go. Just reword this question into your top five, three for next year. Underrated top players. I don't the know. the ones who get no I respect. I can't think that quick. Josh Jackson, Jimmy Butler. Stop. He's a rookie. Butler would count. He would you already put him on your list. Mm, he's who lost for like the last three, four years. Like Devin Booker. Underrated. Devin Booker. Devin Booker needs the more respect than what he's getting. I That's mean, all I got. You're the guy you think might be the best player in the league. You didn't put him on your list. Of what underrated? On anything, Oka Tempo. Oka Tempo is. What do you want from me? <coughs> you literally made a list without the obvious Braun and whoever, and you didn't still didn't put Man on there. Who? Spider Man. What's his name? I don't oh, know. Oka Tempo. Tempo. Yeah, Greek oh, Freak. He's he's gonna be a co MVP. So sure. all the listeners <laughs> that sided with you, now you just disrespected them. Bro, they're not getting in the playoffs, so I don't disrespect care about them. Yes, real, huh? they're in the East. What are you talking about? The they Bucks? might be a top three seed. Bucks? Yes. We'll see. Who, who else? They'll be eight, Celtics. seven, eight. They'll be seven, eight. No, they won't. Okay. Uh, mm-hmm. Next question. T underscore Wilson. I think it's underscore 62. Favorite TV show of all time? Well, I'm not going to say Martin because every black person will. But although I do agree with it. <laughs> every black person will say Martin. What? Martin. No, they won't. What are you? They would, but I'm not going to say Martin. Okay. I'm not going to say I'm done, I'm I'm done talking it. to you today. I don't know what I got. You guys go. You did say it. <clears throat> March. I mean, Martin then. Go ahead. I don't know why. That's, you, that's fine for you. I don't know why you assume every black person would say Martin. Every that black person no, would say Martin. No, they wouldn't. What about Fresh Prince? Mm-mm. Martin's better than Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince I guarantee you a large percentage would say The Wire, which is what I'm going to say. The Wire. I would literally bet any sneaker in my collection that every black person would be like, The Wire, duh. <laughs> Martin is the greatest show to black people of all time. 
All right. You obviously are not on Twitter very often. So. All right. Go ahead. Yes, you're on the Wires Twitter page. Like, you just you just assume. You just scroll through Wires Twitter page and be like, look at that black avatar. Go, <laughs> go ahead. Man, just go ahead. What's your, what's your top show, Ryan? Uh, <laughs> say Wings. Wings was a good show, too. It was pretty fun. Um... Probably I can't wait for the comments on this show. Possibly The Walking Dead. Oh, I've never seen it, but people love it. Number I've never one, seen one ever? Episode. I mean, that was like a show that I could uh, or that or the uh There's no, shows on TV right now that are better than that. The show, show that we the one that got canceled on HBO the, the True Detective. True Detective season 1. Was actually, I don't know show. if we Oh, actually one of the one of the best shows ever is coming back for season 9. We didn't talk about that. I've never seen an episode. Curb so. I've never seen that episode. Uh, well, you need to start. There's too many T, good shows. T underscore Entourage. Wilson. Entourage actually is probably my favorite show of all time. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> Greatest show, favorite show. Uh, T underscore Wilson 62 again. Uh, he wants to know what's everyone's number one grill sneaker. Mine's easy. Kennedy. Concepts Kennedy. New Balance. Period. <laughs> it took over from Jordan 6. All right. No. Grail of all time. I feel like I don't have my grail. Like... My six, I have so many sixes. I, you I got honestly, too many rules, huh? honestly don't think I like sixes anymore. To be honest with well, you, well, that might be true, but you still got too many rules. Anyways, I to me a grill is Kennedy. That's my number one grill, Kennedy. I need that forever. Okay, then if you get it, then it's you can change. No, it's not. I probably get out the game if I get a Kennedy. <laughs> all right. If you got it, <laughs> I'm gonna need you to stop then saying. Then you save all this game. money on all this other stuff you say you're gonna buy. You could get a Kennedy for less than what you pay for a human race that you want. So why don't you just buy the Kennedy, save all yourself. Because I wear the human race more than I wear the Kennedy. I'd probably cherish the Kennedy. But it gets you out the game for 600 bucks. Mm, it's debatable. You literally just, just said, said that. that. Look, man. <laughs> what's, your, what's your grill? Uh, <laughs> that I own or that I want? I don't know. I took it as This want. episode is funny and a mess at the same time. Um, Grill that I want is later... <laughs> Whoa, bro! If you don't test? chill out, I thought the smoke detector was going off. <laughs> um, Sorry. Uh, that I want is probably Red October Solar Two and Nice Kicks NMD. That I own, uh, probably Shattered Backboards and Belugas. I think. Uh, you made those grills <laughs> like you weren't desiring them. Like I've been talking about Kennedys for about five years now. You have them. Yeah, that's why I said Solar Easy Two, Red October Easy Two, and Nice Kicks. You don't want MD would be the ones that like I. You want don't want to put own. Back to the Future. The Max. <laughs> Shoot on that. I knew it. What's yours, George? Jordan Black Cement Jordan Four. You already know the answer to that. I guess. What do you uh, mean you guess? Like that's literally the only shoe that anyone said that's actually. I guess attainable. I looked at the questions differently than everybody else. All right, Jimmy, what do you got for us? Jimmy, uh, how can Jordan Brand bring back the hype to Jordans? And they must be high if they think those flight knit Jordan 1s are nice. <laughs> well, he's right about that. So, I'll let one suck. of you guys go first if you want to go. Although the fly knit, what are they? Are they dunk lows or Jordan 1 lows? The ones I sent you, those are kind of dope. D dunk lows. All right, yeah, those are Debatable. dope. Debatable. I mean, what do you got? What do you guys got? How can <clears throat> Jordan Brand... Bring Can drum brand bring back the hype? Yes or no? What do you guys got? Super limited releases of sought after colorways that nobody's ever seen, like Chris Paul fives, Mellow fives. Uh, well, I mean, I guess the pro the issue is define hype. Like Jordan ones still sell out. So what? Are you trying mm. to? Are you, are you talking about you want to shoe that the sells for a thousand dollars? The Jordan, brand all Jordan hold. ones don't sell out. I mean, you can. No, get no, the OG colors. I'm saying you can get metallic they reds out. for like. 60 bucks. Yeah, but I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about... That's an OG code. The, I understand that. I'm talking about the basic ones that... If you release metallic he's reds... The brand. He's, I think he's talking about when fours would sell out. Threes would sell, everything would sell out. Like, everyone Well, the cared. problem is obviously numbers. People complained, and then they increased the numbers, and that's why stuff sits. Once the numbers... It's a supply and demand thing. That's the answer to that question. Yes. Now, if you're talking about, like, excitement, da, 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 I don't know if that ever will happen. Must not. But everything we talked about earlier, everything is in... Ups and downs, ebbs and flows, or whatever. You know what I mean? Like Nike SB, I'd be back at some point. I mean, that's just the way it stuff works. Jordan brand will never be what it was. It just can't. Like they keep raising the prices. One, 
two, they've the dis- production level is the biggest problem, but the price raise is, is also. Well, I, I'm but just, look what happened, LeBron's. LeBron's went to what two ten, and then he came well, right back down. They're 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 people. I mean, the people that they were mainly marketing to, we're we're literally about to hit our forty soon. Like th- these are ours. Jordans are ours. I mean, Jordans are ours. No, no, you're, but that doesn't like, mean they're marketing to us. That's no, no. You're right. We think that. No, no, no. Well, no, no. Okay, we feel, we're the only ones that make anybody else younger than us care about Jordans. It's us, the older ones. We're the only ones that make them care. Now, once we stop caring, they're going to stop caring. In reality, if you look at a Jordan not, model... Not because, look, hold on a second. If you look at a Jordan model right now, you would be like, you know what, it's kind of ugly and play it out. There's no Jordan model. Like, these are literally sneakers that were designed in, like, 89. Okay, hold so are, like, uh, so are you talking about... Sales overall, or are you talking about sneaker culture in, only? Hype? I can't. I can't interpret this question. If it's no, no, I'm not hype. talking about the question. I'm talking about the point you just made. Because look at how many people still buy Team Jordans and Jordans that's not a retro in a store, and you see people wearing them. If that stuff is selling, and those are people who are not sneakerheads, the sales issue is they're making money. They don't have a sales issue. Yeah, but a hype in the sneaker culture issue is because they make too many pairs. They sit, and then we look at it like, oh yeah, they're not cool anymore. That's why. If they limited the numbers, everything would start selling for high again. Would it bring back hype or whatever? Who knows? Probably not. I, at some point, people are gonna say flying at Jordan what? One is not the answer. Let's put it that way. No, nothing is gonna. Nothing new is the answer. That's period. Nothing new is gonna be the answer. They're not gonna. You know, throw in a new soul. They're not going to do this. Nothing new will make Jordan be back. What it is. Uh, second question he had was, pick one shoe for the rest of your life. Ooh. I'd have to pick a. That's tough. I'd probably pick an Air Max 90 Hyperfuse. Only because I wear my independent reds every weekend. It's not even a, it's a guarantee. And I might even consider racers uh, for the rest of my racer. life. I might even consider that. Flying at racer, huh? It's mm-hmm. just that you just throw it on. It's that not easy. even like oh, I'm talking about the rest man. of my life. I'm just gonna pick the first OG Ultra Boost. I mean, why not? It's I wouldn't expect you to simple. pick anything else. Exactly, it has to be Boost. Why wouldn't I mean to wear it forever? Uh, I was gonna go with anything Boost. It would be a, it would be a black 1.0. Yeah, that one or the. Any OG 1.0, the black one with the purple heel cup. Any, one, yeah, anything one. has to be. One. It has to be you a said 1.0. NMD, though. No, I said Ultra Boost. You said, said OG Boost. NMD. No, I said I Ultra said Boost. Boost. I'm going to have to play it back. I have OG um, NMDs on my feet right now. That's opinions. He wants to know how do we feel about pineapple on pizza. No. It's trash. No. Don't do it. Um, I, don't eat, I don't eat fruit and I don't, I'm allergic see, to pineapple. There's people that, like, there's another thing, not, not only pizza, but people cook pineapple for some reason. Like, I know you put it on your ham when you cook your ham, but there's another thing where people, why? They put it on the grill. Why are we cook? yeah, why are we cooking pineapple? Mm, I don't eat it. I'm allergic. That's terrible. I don't like pineapples. Pineapples mm. are delicious. You guys are missing out. Mm, pineapples really. are delicious. In, it's just like a carrot. Cooked carrots are awful. Oh, Regular carrots? Things. No, cooked carrots are good. good. Nah, cooked carrots are good. You're nah, your your guys' taste buds are suspect. Walls, walls so fierce. This, this is a good question too. I don't even know what this. Look, walls of Jericho. I think there's no J. Walls of Jericho. Yeah, walls of, what are you looking at? Are you looking at the paper? Or? Break the walls Anyways, down. It'll be on the screen. <laughs> So we Who chill. was your favorite Jersey Shore cast? Member? This is a good question. They all better be the same up here. Vinny. I mean, you're going to say Jay Wow. Are you smoking? <laughs> <laughs> My favorite Jersey character is Pauly D. Why? Because he was always cool. He wasn't acting crazy. He was just laid back, cool, funny. funny. Vinny was the one that was like, oh, Vinny was depressing. Back. He I was had depressing. Fe- I had a feeling that Greg was going to say that. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, I'm You not- love Jay Wow. Yo, no, okay. I can't stand Jay Wow. She wore black sneakers all the time. No woman should wear all black sneakers. Not a one woman. I thought woman. you said it's only for women now. Not what? Because of her, it's only for women now. All black, black shoes. sneakers? No, no. I was saying no woman should <laughs> ever wear an all black sneaker. Their skin is too soft if that had never to go happened. with an all black sneaker. It looks crazy. <laughs> all right, you got to chill. It <laughs> does. It looks crazy. I hate that. Uh, I, Yeah, Pauly D. I mean, Pauly D had the spinoff show, right? Didn't he for a little while? The oh, DJ Pauly D show or whatever? He was the only know. one that really got like. That's I think Jay Wow and Snooki got one, but it didn't last very long. But no, nah, Polly D was the most entertaining one. Everyone thought the situation was, but he was annoying to me. 
<laughs> but honestly, I see what Simple's saying because Vinny kind of had like that, like low key, like he's an alright dude. You could tell he had like uh, mental uh, uh, conscience. Uh, right. No, he had like uh, Doctor Greg. I'm gonna need you to chill out. But he did. You could tell he was always depressed and stuff. He had like mental stuff. You could tell he if, had like. Um, I mean, I don't. Uh, they said it on the show, then sure, but I don't just assume stuff no, like that. I so. did. Okay. Um, <laughs> yes, he was analyzing. <laughs> he was sitting there with his psych, with his, uh, I with was. his psych 101 book. Like, huh, uh, uh, Mayor Sanchez, he wants us to do a top 10 team Jordan sneakers, which we will have to do that at some point. And he said, Who's our picks for the NBA Finals? Cavs I'm, Warriors. I'm Cavs Warriors. That's it. Like, I'm not even going to elaborate. Yeah. Cavs Warriors. I'm fine with it. Uh, shout out to Mayor Sanchez. Why would it change for the next? Uh, you know what uh, is actually kind of funny though, because LeBron hasn't officially decided technically what he's doing. A lot of people seem to think he might leave. That's a possibility. I believe like right now. Yeah, like this year. I, mean, I thought it was pretty interesting when I read it. I was like, well, I didn't think it was an option. Hey, well, yeah, he has an option. Um, get her done. Eighty four. Should laces be more fashionable? Get her done. Be more fashionable than function? I don't even no. know what that means. Are you no, skipping around here? No, no, we're going straight down the line. No, they shouldn't. I don't have that. I don't. Uh, Get her done. Eighty four. Should laces be more fashionable than functional? No. Oh, oh you skipped the question. Sometimes, like, I mean, what are you gonna do? Glitter no, laces? They be doing too much. I don't laces. The laces one after Jersey Shore cast member you skipped, but the answer to that obviously is no. That's not a question. <laughs> you read it. Um, laces are just laces. Uh, yeah, they're just laces. I, I think people do lace swaps for no reason. Like, I don't understand people who do lace swaps. Makes no sense. Yeah, why didn't you talk about the GoFundMe? I mean, it's not really a question. It is a question. That's a question. Okay. Mark. I don't right. I don't care about laces anymore. I used to care about when ASICs were super hot. I used to care about ropes because I thought they looked best with rope laces, but I don't care about laces no more. Okay, let's go back. Big Raj, will George start a GoFundMe for his wedding without selling any kicks? He you, should. You got to uh, you gotta just show Big Raj love with the question. You can't gloss over it. He should. He should start a GoFundMe. Yeah, but Big, Raj, I'm gonna, Big I'm Raj, Raj is my guy. I talk to him all the time. I'm going to be like, uh, uh, what's the name? Detroit man, I'm not gonna start it. Someone will start it for me, hopefully. <laughs> oh, you're Jermaine Bossy. <laughs> Look at his face. Hey, if somebody wants to start it, I already sold ahead. two pairs. I think next time I go to LA, I'm just gonna put you a bunch of shoes pair. in my car. No, I sold two. You sold one. You sold one because it canceled. You out bought one. Like it doesn't matter. No, I sold two. You still sell two. You don't subtract one. Sounds good. You subtract one. No, um, you know. Ryan Swanger. I like this guy. This guy's cool. I don't know if you guys ever seen him on uh, Instagram. The best sneaker collection. Period. Right up our alley. Love his sneakers. Shout okay. out to him. You need to chill out. Talk about having stuff up. Can Adidas stay on top of Jordan with only three hyped models? The Ultra Boost, NMD, and Yeezy. Well, they're already making new stuff, so it's not going to be three hype models forever. They're going to, I mean, they have the 4K, whatever was the, what's the one? 4D? 4K? Which 4K, one is yes, that? 4K. Yeah. What's that? Yeah. Future yeah. Stuff? Samsung, is that yeah, they have the future stuff. Samsung. Until that's readily available for everybody, I don't even count this. It says future. I mean, fine. <laughs> well, until the future yeah, is the present. Flying, like, uh, like so flying do, what do you care about like the next like three months only with this question? Like, what? I don't understand the point. You why are you talking? Way too technical with this. Why are you talking about the future if you only care about like stuff Listen, that Marty McFly. exists? All right. If you think future crafts are coming out anytime soon for everybody, December. Yeah, right. That's we'll see. They already said what the number of pairs on that first release is going to be. It may not be everybody, but it'll be like the same number of pirate. Can I need to stay on top of Jordan? I mean, this is episode sixty nine, so <laughs> <laughs> I I don't think it matters. They're gonna have more model. Yeah, exactly. But I think it should be models, worded. So. It should be worded should Adidas stay on top of Nike, not Jordan. Like it should be Nike. Well, the reason is is because of the line in the song. That's why. Of what song? He's just, just over the jump. Man. Oh, is that what he's asking? Oh, I don't know. I don't know if that's what he's asking, but that's the line in the song. So I assume most people say Jordan instead of Nike. But he didn't say Adidas Yeezy. Is a- he didn't say Yeezy over Jordan is what I would think. I would say Adidas over Nike. No. Yeezy over Jordan. That's no. what I think. Adidas and Nike are so far apart, even though Adidas doubled their market share, they're so far apart that no, that would never happen. But Jordan brand coming back down and Adidas going up, Adidas is almost there. Dope Man 35. What would you guys consider the golden era of sneaker collection? Collecting. Collecting or sneakers? Yeah, see, of exactly. Collecting, of collecting God, I would exactly. say like 2007 through 2012, 13. The golden era of sneakers in general was when we were kids, yes. but people didn't collect them. They just went and bought that one, yeah. wore it out, and yeah, threw it away then, and bought a new one. I don't know if that. 
makes it a gold winner. They just make his shoes. So I would say 2007. He just bombed like, them away. Like 2007, it wasn't like, eight to like 2012, 13. I, I don't say. understand what you're saying. Like now we look at it back like, man, that was a great era when they originally first came out. There wasn't a such thing as a retro. But to me, there also wasn't a such thing as collecting. I'll honestly say that golden era is between like 2008 to 2013. Like, so it was not the like, same as mine. we're talking sneakers selling for five, six hundred. We paid 164. Like, that was like the golden era. It was probably, era well, it was of probably, the reseller, it was maybe after that. Like, it's just really hard to Resale say. Resale really blew up once all these, like, bots and stuff started. So, like, like once, if you say in 13 and you saying like, 11 or 12, the uh, bots hadn't really started up yet. Once so. you, like, you're saying, when we're kids, of course. Like, that's when they originally dropped out. The thing is, we had no idea what was happening at that moment. Like, you didn't think, like, wow, these will come back out again. Like, retro didn't exist. The first retro didn't come out until what? Oh, actually, I don't know that answer. Retros came out. I mean, sorry, come out in the nineties. Ninety four. I think it was ninety four. I yeah. think it was the first one. Like, so I mean, like to me, like the golden era of sneakers would have been, you go to a camp out, you meet a bunch of people, you all have something in common. Like, it, you know, yeah, we're all liars. We're all liars. <laughs> That's one of your favorite things about camp outs. Camp out. One day we're gonna have to really talk about camp outs. <laughs> camp outs were so weird. I wish they still did camp outs because we'd set up a table and a podcast and just camp out at a podcast. <laughs> um, dope man, thirty five. That's the only way oh, I would be willing to do it that. because you already know that certain things happen when we camped out for the yellow uh, <laughs> Bruce. Boss. I don't know how to say his name. What is this thing, Bruce? Bruce Hatu. Bruce Hatu. Is the hype beast moving the culture forward or ruining the culture? I guess they're creating their own lane. I don't know if it's the own lane, if it's the only lane. Like, hype beast is the only lane now. I guess. You have to be a hype beast in order to, like, you buy a Yeezy, you're a hype beast. You buy a Supreme shirt, you're a hype beast. You buy a this, you're a hype beast. You buy that, you're a hype beast. I don't think it's going forward or backwards. So is hype beast interchangeable now with sneakerhead? I don't even think hype beast is even, even real anymore. It's just a sneakerhead. Like, I don't think it's a such thing. Who doesn't want a Yeezy? Who doesn't want a Supreme North Face jacket? Whatever Me. you got. Like, man, you hate everything, though. I don't hate everything. I just brought a pair of shoes in that I got. Yeah, you bought a pair of shoes you got, like, seven pairs of already in a different color. Like, thank you. So? Like, it, that doesn't, you don't. You, ask you don't me, count. You don't, I don't count. I don't hate everything. You literally hate. I don't everything. hate Supreme and that stuff. It's just not for me. I don't care. That's a, that's the difference. U of A's for you. Um, you absolutely right. Kamani, U of A national championships are for me. Kamani. Dot Isaiah, what's a gem that you've always wanted in your collection but can't seem to get your hands on? Kennedy's. <laughs> Red October, Solar V2. You use Solar the same VZ2 answer for a lot of stuff. V10MD. I think Ryan's answer is better because I could get my hands on Kennedy's. I just don't w- to. want to. Those would I want a Red October. Well, you can't so say, bad, you can't say something you never tried for. So... Like we tried for that. You're 100. percent I tried. I tried no, for Red October. I know that's what I'm saying. I so you can't say like mags. Well, we didn't try for mags. You know what I mean? Like oh, I did. I did. Okay. I put my. I bought the raffle ticket. All right. That's kinda... not trying for mags. You asked Rocio, "Can I do this?" I put a bid in like 2,000, knowing it would go to like 7,000. I bid. That's it... not trying. Yeah, but I bid at 11,000. Uh, so okay, I knew it was gonna go over, but stop. Anyways, uh, you bid 9,000. I bid 11,000. I knew it was going to go over. They were already so hot. This was the first run. All right. A gem probably, I would probably say. If you would have won, you would have been shook. No, I would have got divorced. Like, <laughs> she would have left me. <laughs> she would have left me. Uh, I probably would say, um, this is tough because, like, there's obviously boost stuff that I care about. But God, you probably, Probably, I just wish they made more Hyperfuse Air Max 90s when that Hyperfuse wave started. So just yeah. pick anyone. I that's didn't get good, any of them. That's a good one. What you got, Ryan? I think what? he said it already. He said, oh, like, Red October, Yeezy Solar, Solar, yeah. Solar Yeezy 2, and uh, Nice Kick 10MD. Uh, I wish, actually, you know what's funny is that uh, AirTech Challenge 2 that was like the Red October one, they never released that. I wish that would have came out because that would have been a nice replacement for uh, not being able to get that easy. Too. Oh, and shout out to Matt at Nice Kicks. We're going to get him on the show soon. I thought, yeah. that, I thought that was later. We always talk to him. No, the other thing's later. <laughs> what's uh, the difference? Anna, Anna K. One. I know, but what's the difference between them two? Because you'll see. You'll see. Uh, Anna K. Yes, out. you have a, a circuit. You have Anna, a, a band back here playing for you. Anna K. Sanchez. What is the best arm R&B group from the 90s? Ooh, that's a heat question right there. That's definitely not a Ryan question. Mine's a split. <laughs> yeah, 
what is it? 112 and Jagged Edge. Okay. I'm not going to argue with that. Um, but 112 is kind of, they had like some jams, but. Bruh, you better not come on here disrespecting 112. I will lose my We're mind. We're talking about the 90s. 112 isn't even in the top eight in the 90s. Don't don't ever say, don't, don't, bruh. Don't, bruh. D- bruh, don't. I knock all these sneakers on the floor and pick them up because they're all mine. But one of the greatest R&B songs in the 90s you better, of all time. Actually, you've been wildin' when it comes to groups. So, so what's, we, the greatest, you, what's the greatest thing of R&B songs? One song? of. What? But it might have been the early 2000s. You better not say Peaches and Cream. Fuck no. Okay. You it's better not, relax. It's not my Jacket Edge or 112. What is it? Buster Rhymes and Janet Jackson. That's not R&B. That's an R&B song. You need to chill out, bro, because you've been doing a lot of wilding when it comes Go to groups Go ahead and give lady. me your list. Give me your, your, gonna your people. Boy, he's going to say boys and men. It's not a list. You want, Well, you know the top eight? Give me like three. Give me your three. Just say something. Boys Jodeci. Facts. <laughs> facts. Jodeci. Facts. H-Town. Facts. Uh, yes. They had a a super gigantic jam. Okay. Like, if you gonna, think of a lot of all their, their discography, you're like, eh. If you put Boys to Men above 112, you're smoking rocks, and I will throw you out that window right there. Bruh. I hope you're joking. Boys to Men over one. Are you crazy? We're talking Boys to Men. We're talking about a song that I don't care what the, if you're the toughest guy on earth. When they play End of the Road when somebody dies, if you don't tear up, facts. Stop it. He's gonna say Casey. I can't talk to you no more. I can't talk to you if you're gonna put 112 over Boys to Men. 112 may have had the greatest single album in R and B history as far as like our era. I'm not talking about like 60s, 70s. Just say somebody else because you sound crazy talking about 112 over Boys to Men. No, I don't sound crazy. Man, what do you got, bro? You was, sound like our age. You're older than us. You should never go against boys to men. Yes, you should have earth, wind, and fire. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's not in the 90s, so <laughs> kill yourself. Oh. <laughs> well, just say something else, though. Just say something. I, I want to argue this. Jodeci is my choice. Bro, we're talking Jodeci. We got TLC. We got new edition. I'm only t- okay. We got Black Street. Okay, relax. Whoa, whoa, no, whoa, 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 Black Street, not Back That's, Street. I um, okay. Yes, I, yes thank you. Drew I appreciate Hill. That. How many of those are better than 112? Yeah, that's true. What are you talking about? You might be talking about bro. individual songs that no, they had. Not, You're but, smoking but rocks, like, but like one twelve and, and, and I'm not. Edge. And I'm, I'm talking not, about just male R and B groups. I'm not even you, SWV belongs in there. You including everybody facts. in Vogue facts. TLC. I'm not including the facts. female groups. Brownstone. I'm only talking about facts. Okay. Don't get me started. Destiny's Child facts. Okay. Don't get me started on R and B in the nineties, bro. One twelve over Boys to Men. You should be ashamed of yourself. Destiny's Child does not belong in that group in the nineties. Boys to Men have the greatest. Christmas album of all time. Bro, Next to Mariah, Mariah Carey. You talking about Christmas music? I don't give a shite. We're talking about Let It Snow. We're talking about End of the Road. Bro, stop it. You looking crazy right stop now. Stop it. Man. No, you sound no. mad what about, wild. What about Chris you Brown? You looking crazy right now. No? Chris Brown wasn't in the 90s. You looking really crazy right Chris now. Chris Brown was like a toddler maybe. I don't know. Uh, I, I can't. Bro. I can't know. It's one thing. 112. Facts. Over Boys and Men. What about Kenny G's crazy. Christmas album? If you talking about, what about Kenny G? If you talking about just R and B acts in general, John B voice. belongs in that group too. John B is up there. Who said it's not it? a group? But he's not a group. No one said. I'm I just saying. Say you yeah, I mean, I, you naming like a lot of people that's not better than him. New edition. You absolutely right. But, but but new edition to me Mel is 80s, not 90s. That's 80s. What? If we're talking individuals, 90s, 90s too. What are you talking about? Like it's. When were the better records? Okay, let's when get all the records topic, come out. Look, my head hurts now. Joe to see, you can't argue with it. If you're talking individual, you can't argue Drew Hill. You can't argue Boys to Men. You can't argue 112 is way better than Drew Hill. Are you kidding me? And Black Street. What's wrong with you? <sighs> yeah, something wrong with you. Who's better, Jagged Now, or now, now, if you said uh, Boys to Men and 112 was like one and two or two and three, then I okay, fine. Who's better, Jagged Edge? But you naming some ones that's not Jagged even Edge. Close. Is, I pick Jagged over 112. No, you wouldn't. I would. Let's get married. He can't love you like what? I do mean, you not remember how big Bad Boy was in that era? Every song that was huge had one twelve on it. Every single song features nice. I didn't say one twelve sucks. I'm talking about me. This is me. You something wrong. Next with you. question. Something wrong Next with you. question. Kamani Isaiah. How did y'all all? How did you all guys? How did all <laughs> you guys become friends? 
Facebook sneaker group. We're about to be, we're about bro, to be enemies if now. If you don't take a pill, uh, we're about to be enemies now. Learn how to read, I swear. Yes. Uh, we became friends in a Facebook group and we became enemies after a 90s R&B discussion. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the whole synopsis no. of the history. We <laughs> became, we became. In one <laughs> sentence. I've yeah, just actually, always known of George. Yeah, just actually, from high school. I used to work with Greg's uncle long, long time ago. So I would hear about George from them at work at the Arizona Republic, which is a newspaper out here, and Ryan through Facebook sneakers. Like that's just literally it. Um, yeah, it was pretty random, actually. It is. It just I don't even know why we all like each other. Um, I am most of the time we don't. I am dingling. Okay. <laughs> right, well, you know, <laughs> dingling, episode episode sixty nine. You put this on here on I purpose. This, I don't know. I was gonna ask you before we started what this means. Uh, with what? What's the Jersey Pinwheel era? Oh, okay. Well, this can't believe you said so, that stuff over one So, man. bro, stop talking to me. I am dingling. I am dingling. <laughs> I am. <laughs> bro, you don't stop saying that. But you I won't stop God. talking. You won't stop talking. Like, I'm just saying. Episode 69. Yeah, he said dingling six times in a row. Don't feel so thing. Dingling, I swear. Bro. What is your take on the Jersey Pinwheel era during the early 2000s? Do you still. <laughs> basically, do you still think it has a style in today's fat society? It's. Fabulous, you know, jerseys, Mitchell Ness, the split hats. I wore all that. So oh, oh, the pinwheel hats. Yeah, pinwheel hats. Like oh. it's just oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I thought he was saying there was like pinwheel jerseys. I was like, no, <laughs> oh, pinwheel. I love pinwheel hats. I did back in the day. I still do. Like uh, t- some of my favorite hats are the Expos pinwheel hat, uh, the Louis. Braves pinwheel hat. Uh, Mariners pinwheel hat, Dodgers, Yankees, Do- yeah. all of them. Uh, I, mean, I like pinwheel hats. Um, the issue is, is that I just won't. Oh, would, the ones that were like opposite split, colors, like it was blue like and white, red and, and white, blue and yeah, white. Yeah, yeah. yeah all right, all right. those like I had them. That style, I wouldn't buy it today. That well, okay, no, this is the thing. That the jersey style and that hat style, it could still fit in the day. It's just that not the would, same size. It would just fit on our bodies yeah. different. That's it. Anybody could throw a Mitchell and Ness on and go to a pool party. Like if you were a Mitchell and Ness. As just a tank top, you're not wearing it as like this is your fit. That's an expensive tank top. But even Mitchell Ness has come out with like cheaper throwbacks now. They got swingman versions. They're yeah, they got swingman bucks. shorts for seventy five yeah. bucks too. So it's kind of like, yeah, it could still make it this era. You see conceited. You see cats like that wearing it, like you know, battle rapper conceited. You know, a few other cats wearing it. But it's one of those things like you better have guts. You know, going out with it, you better be confident. It's not when you for rock me. It. Montreal Expos pinwheel hat is one of the greatest hats of all time. Montreal Expos. Mitchell yeah, but wasn't that their the basic? Wasn't that their actual hat though, or no? No. Yeah. No, no, no. They didn't play in it. In the oh, pinwheel hat? I no, they, not, not pinwheels. Thought, no, they didn't play in pinwheels. So pinwheels what was it? Just a white hat with a red bill? Was like no, pinwheel. no. What's their basic? I don't know what pinwheel. Oh, is. What's their was basic hat? All blue, and then an all blue with a red bill, and then it had a white. I think with the back of it was blue. No, no. They played in this in the eighties. No. Okay, maybe. I don't know. See. That, I had that one. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. They played in that hat. That's, that's one of the greatest. Yeah, that was their main maybe. hat. Oh, I mean, okay. maybe you don't consider a pinwheel, but it's close. <laughs> no, it's a pinwheel. Um, that's one of the greatest hats of all time. It probably is. I hate reading IG names. I don't know what this is. Chaffs. Um, if you had a collaboration to make a sneak disc podcast shoe, what shoe would it, would you use? I'm going to let George go first because I want to <laughs> see what he says. <laughs> no, I'm going to see. What, what do you say, George? If you, I swear. Um... Come on, get it out. You're close. I know you want to nah, say. Nah, I'm gonna have to think about it. I need to think about it for a second. George, Ryan, what do you got? If we had to make a sneak this sneaker, he a said, collab- "I know you're close." I know you're. You know you want to say a collaboration sneaker with a sneak this. What brand would it be? Oh, actually, I know what I'm gonna pick. Nike Vapor Max. Okay, well, you're wrong. <laughs> uh, what do you got? I would actually do uh, Ultra Boost Mid. The Mid. Why not? Bro, he might fight you. You guys might fight. Uh, I mean, we're, we, this, the whole point is to have different opinions. So, by all fine. Means. It would be a, a oh, it air, would be a air stab. Is that what you want? It, uh, no, it would be <laughs> it would be a New Balance nine 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 or nine nine seven point five. Why, bro? You're angry at us because of this. So because you can do more or an Asic Gel Light three. You can do more no, with those terrible. models. Stop. Fire. You can do that. Sucks. You can do more. <laughs> He's you can angry do, right now. No, no. You can do more with a New Balance or an Asic. Then you can. Oh, you're talking about like sneakers. customizing or whatever. I'm talking. Yes, it's our sneaker. It's a sneak disc collaboration sneaker. Okay. I'm talking about New Balance is more pieces. You can change the color of the toe box, change the color of the it is this and that. A lot of people do collaboration sneakers with like it's like OVO 12s. Doing an OVO 12 is dumb. A uh, Jordan 12 is basically two pieces. Majority of the leather and the little side. That's flaps. a weird reason to pick a shoe though. Yeah, but I'm saying like uh, no, 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 because I want to do Might more to it. If you pick an Ultra Boost. The, the, only, mid. the best thing you can do is just the 
different nah, threads. Nah, you saw the one that came out. It had suede on the toe box. There's a lot of stuff you could do. You could do. That's a high quality that's, shoe. That's debatable. Like it's. Nah. It's debatable. You got to pick like a New Balance, an Asic, a Saucony, something you with don't more have pieces. To pick you don't any have to. Though. Fine, you don't have to, but I would. Like I. That's would, fine. It would be. But better. you were angry about that. The greatest collaboration sneakers of all time involved New Balances. <laughs> Ah. Maybe go, go back and listen to your best collaborations. My list. best collaboration is the, the Purple Tape Deodora. They involve runners. Yeah, that was that was whack. We didn't say smoking. we didn't say it didn't involve runners, but there's a lot of options there. And you picking one, you narrowing it down like that is garbage. Oh, cool, smoking. He's um, angry. Baby Ionis <laughs> twenty two. I think it's I think Alonius. You got a baby Babylonius. Babylonius. Uh, okay. 22, <laughs> how much can you bench press, Yee. and what is the best Ultra Boost colorway? Two way? completely unrelated questions. Well, I don't bench press because I don't believe yes, in it. Yes, you do. You bench press like this. You're a gay. Right. <laughs> you, we both witnessed this. You, said, you walked in <laughs> for a half hour talking about that until you were working. I and you did talking it, about And you that. did it with a shake weight, too, I believe. I'm not mistaken. <laughs> so. And the shake weight sprayed water on your face. All right. All right. I'm not going that far. Um, I will never admit to the watching The best that. Ultra Boost colorway is that black and white one. <laughs> that black and white one. I don't know what it was. What, 3M? No, the... Uh, I was going to say, you hated on that one big Woodwood? Time. I think Woodwood's the best one. Oh, you're not going to pick Kith Mid? I thought you liked the Kith nah, Mid better. I do, but I think Woodwood's the best one. Woodwood? I said Woodwood's one, fire. I said 1.0 Navy. I mean, to me, it's the greatest ultra boost of all time. You just said it was. You just had something completely different. Look, man. Look, I'm just here. The Woodwood one is fire. The Navy <laughs> one's fire. The just Navy. The well, on the list we do later, the Navy one will be on there. So that's kind of a spoiler alert. But um, I'm going to say Chalk. We're not doing a list. Chalk 1.0. No, later is in another show. Oh. You said Chalk 1.0? Chalk 1.0. Eh, I mean, yeah. I'm over those. Um, I'm not over, but every time I and wear it, bench press, I don't care for it. Uh, 387 pounds. <laughs> that would be nice. Um, at one point I was like the I was working out with two seventy five six reps, so it's probably not that high anymore, but Dang somewhere beast. up there. So, yeah. <laughs> put him in the post. Cats, put him in the post. Cats at the gym putting four plates on there and doing like eight eight reps. I, I think, think the I'm, most I think I've ever, I think the most I've ever maxed out at was like two sixty five. I couldn't even tell you. Uh, I have no idea. Bench pressing is for people who have low no. self esteem. Chest is one day <laughs> of the week at the gym. You don't um, like it. You don't need to do chest every day. You just do it one day. I a go week. to the chest. And I work out everything. What are you talking about? I don't. You mean you go, go to the to gym? Chest yeah, you I go, go to the gym. chest. Whatever. I go to the chest. Um, <laughs> you got a Louis Vuitton? Soulfully laced. Um, where will the Yeezy sneaker line be ten years from now? Who cares? <laughs> 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 you can answer it. Right. It'll, it'll, be, in, it'll be in a resurgence. It'll be all the people that wanted it. It'll be like how Jordan is to us. People will get nostalgic for it in about 10 years. Nah. I mean, look, Kanye switches things up too much. They look at the new runner long. coming out. The you new runner. Last how long? He's a psychopath. He'll he probably be a Saucony's in like four years. Like, it doesn't <laughs> matter. Like, he's, he thinks he transcends everywhere he goes. He thinks he's better than Nike. Eventually, he's going to think he's better than Adidas and leaves. I don't know, about, I don't know about that. He thinks, well, he he's, thinks he's better, better than, than Jay-Z. Than I don't know if I, well he, he you mean he thinks his design ideas are better than Nike's his design ideas, ideas his style he thinks everything is better than them if they don't he like, can't think of styles better because let's be honest he right. does um, the second question was what is the most underrated unhyped and secretly awesome runner on the market well you already know Easy. my answer to that I, I agree with George Mariah right, flying it no I flying it those Air are Max actually fire but once. I needed a twelve and a half flying it Air Max once for me yep. Um, to me, I think the Mariah flying it. Uh, Jay, Air Max flying it. If Air I can Max get, if I can feet. get one of those for like eighty, I'm copping. Mariah's. Jordan Little, how do you guys feel about the flood of Adidas boost into the market? Is it the right move for Adidas, or are they slowly slab? Are they slowly stabbing themselves? Now, this is where I say we will be discussing this within the next two weeks with a special guest, Teddy, aka the Boost God, will be coming on the show to discuss: Is Adidas doing too much? I personally, my personal opinion, quickly, I think, yes, they're doing too much. Way too much. You see, I walked into Foot Locker over the weekend. Wait, and like colorways or what? Explain. Just like there's just too much coming out. I mean, I walked into Foot Locker over the weekend. Take it back. And there were khaki 3.0s, salmon 3.0s, um, white salmon. 3.0s. Salmon. That one, the, the gray with the pink. Oh, 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 yeah, the the pink gray mix. Yeah, yeah. Um, those are actually dope. Like they are dope, and so are the, the khakis are dope. But they're just sitting everywhere. So a year ago they would have flown. Yeah, but 
like we said, you feel like they would have flown because they're boost. Boost is just air now. No, plenty of air. It's you air keep on system. saying boost. It's not boost. The rest of the shoe is also a high quality shoe. We're talking about the top of the shoe. What do you? Okay, well then, fine. I'll just wait till uh, your boy comes on the we're show and all, he'll tell you about it. We were because that's literally his number one argument is the entire shoe is more important than the boost. That's what makes oh, it then comfortable. I can't wait for him to come on then. Yes, because bro, Air Maxes and stuff drop every week and they're just sitting. Like it's gonna happen to Adidas. Ultra Boost have to it sit already, at some point. It already did happen. You're right. They so they're somewhere. not doing too much. What they're doing is they're, they're caught up. They've just caught up to Nike. That's it. We have something so dope that it flew off the shelves at one point, and it it just sit for a while. It's gonna sit. If they release the original yes. Ultra Boost, the original is. one, it will fly. You it will fly off the shelves like nothing. The purple cup, heel purple cup, cup one. Yeah, of course. Any one point oh would. Have you not seen the arguments on Twitter 1. like the last is week? The greatest ultra boost of all time. The last week has all been like us, someone asked was like, why does everybody want one point It's the best of all time. And it's because a lot of people didn't buy it. Like his argument was like, you guys didn't buy them then. Why are you gonna buy them now? It's mainly hype, but the design we can agree on all, is better. All Adidas hundred times better. All Adidas has done is just move. The, when, when you go on a full locker and Adidas has got that little corner. They've moved their corner to a bigger area right next to Nike. That's all they've done. It's They're not just in the, the corner anymore. Reebok. Table. Yeah. Reebok. Reebok is now in the deep corner. It might be in the back room now. But Adidas is right up front. Reebok Jordan, is in the Nike. It's right there. I mean, they're doing too much when it comes to putting tons of colorways out. No, I mean, that's what Nike does. We got how many Air Max 97s have released already this year? We got silver bullets, gold, white snake. This, what, like, what? See, what Adidas should be doing is starting to get some of that product into the stores where regular Americans are going to go get it instead of like sneakerheads camping out for that stuff. That's when they start becoming successful. That's what they've been doing with Stan Smith and superstars and whatever else. Once the boost gets to that level and maybe be a little more affordable, then um Grant underscore five two five four five five. What is the worst sneaker fail you've ever seen? I don't even I don't know what this means. Like uh, somebody trying to get something they failed, or like a shoe know. that we saw. I'm not gonna. The worst sneaker fail that I remember. <laughs> you ahead. know what I'm gonna say? No, go ahead. But go ahead. When you and I got lunch at Panera across the street from my office, and that man was sitting across from us, and he's like, "Oh yeah." He was like, "You wearing Jays?" And you're like, "Yeah." He's like, "Bro, I got these Jays." He's like, "I bought these Jays <laughs> from my homie out of his garage." He's like. They're like these black and orange joints. He's like super rare stuff. <laughs> we're like, they don't oh, exist. Those are those. and shattered backboards weren't out yet. Um, Jordan Four, black orange Jordan. Yes, yeah, we said Jordan Four is. Uh, I think the the biggest sneak the biggest sneaker fail probably for me is when we and even though it wasn't technically a fail, but we went camped out at Chic and then man told us they only had like what six sizes of the what shoe was it? Cavs Four. Did you buy That's it? probably the worst fail for me. Did you buy it? I did. I bought an 11, and I think everybody behind me in line was upset. I think there's two sneaker fails for me. I ended up with my size in that shoe, but I got rid of them. Two sneaker they fails for me. They smelled weird. They know. did. They smelled like actual kerosene. Yeah, like it was dipped in oil. Two something. sneaker <laughs> fails for me involved that release when somebody we know got arrested during that <laughs> release. That's a fail. And two, when somebody else we know... Came up to high point when we camped out trying to get yellow phone posits. Oh, yeah. And they gave the last pair in her size to somebody else. And she yelled at high point employees, they're just going to resell them. And the employee said, I don't care what they do with them. <laughs> <laughs> and she had to walk out empty handed. I eventually sold my pair of yellow phones to her resale. I mean, at a uh, retail price, but that was a fail. She really thought that the employee at high point was going to be like, oh, hey, bro, if you're going to resell these, I'm not going to sell them to you. He didn't care. Um, but that's the best sneaker store in Arizona. It is. Facts. False facts. Uh, Sam. Oh. <laughs> oh. Sam. <laughs> I, already, I already read it. Sam underscore Brick Supply Co. So what are your thoughts about how Pound for Pound owes over 150000 to individuals that can be traced with proof to many co-signers who he doesn't pay back or even respond to? Two, do you believe that this is a sign of things to come for other shops or just that b is a con artist who went through four different business partners within a three-year span? Do you guys want to elaborate or should right. I just talk? He put, like, all the business in the question. Feel free. You're you sitting on that it? side. If you guys are going to say anything, then I can't. Now, all of this is allegedly. We don't have the facts. I don't. I don't know if they do. 
allegedly this is happening with pound for pound someone has asked me why haven't we talked about it only because we don't have any facts about it allegedly now if we talk about the golden era of sneakers this wouldn't have happened during the golden era of sneakers if somebody is getting over on somebody like that 100 percent facts now do we feel like first of all if you're swindling people out of consignment sneakers you have a problem all right if it's allegedly you have a problem like you need to get yourself together get your mind right and and fix yourself all right that whole shop allegedly doing this type of stuff they need to get themselves together because they're literally stealing from the culture 100 percent facts allegedly all right these are <laughs> these are alleged 100 percent allegedly you're facts. stealing from the culture <laughs> if you're hurting the culture if people entrust you to do something with their hard-earned money their property the least you can do is is oblige that's it if i say hey man Go ahead and take care of this for me. If this is your business, do that for me. If they're allegedly not taking care of business like that and ruining people's collections, money, stuff lives. like that, lives, then they need to really be handled and bodied. If this was the golden era, it wouldn't even been like this. Now, the person that he named, he's doesn't seem to care and he's untouchable. Like, this wouldn't have happened in the golden era of sneakers. 100% facts. And I got no problem with them or nothing like that, but it's just, it's crazy. I don't understand how it's gotten so far. We don't have any facts, which is why we've never talked about it. We just know what we hear and what we heard, and that's all we got. So that's all I'm going to say. You guys say anything or no? If not, we can move on. I'm not down with the with the jig at all in general, in business. I mean, where are you going? So, again... I have nothing to base anything on. I'm not making judgments on any person. But, bruh, if I sign a contract and you sell what I have, I better get my money. Bottom line. Anybody else? Ryan? Yes? Nope? Nope. Okay. Um, Cristiano2113. In the sneaker culture, even still sneaker culture. I'm sorry. Uh, in the sneaker culture, even still sneaker culture, or has it become YouTube culture? Huh. Over the past years, with names such as Kais and Black Blake Win. Anybody want to go there? Because I can start I gotta, there. I got to read this again. Go ahead. Basically, he's saying, is it is it called sneaker culture anymore, uh, or the YouTube culture now? I mean, there's a. You know what's funny is, uh, I watched that uh, Vince Staples interview not too long ago, and he just hates the word culture in general. He's talking about hip hop, obviously, but you can take it to sneakers or whatever. He makes a good point. Um, I still use the word culture because w when you look at what culture means, it involves all those things. It, having camaraderie, enjoying, collecting, buying, wearing, whatever. So my thoughts on this subject are well known. Sneaker con can go fly off a cliff. <coughs> Actually, YouTube con. I could care less about anything going on with corny people in general. They can suck a dick. Bottom Ryan. line. Anything with you? Um, <laughs> Ryan is shook. I think we've talked about this a lot on past episodes. <laughs> Anyways, Kais, I don't care about him. I have nothing against him. His stuff, calling it content, it's not content. It's just, I don't get it. I don't understand it. And now I don't understand a lot of things. People, I don't understand they, Kardashians. Okay, so yeah, I don't understand a lot of stuff. But a, I'm not going to hate on him. Now, I'm going to tell you this, though. Blake Wynn, Blake Wynn is a sneaker culture vulture. These are facts. They okay? all are. Yeah, but this is the thing. He is getting worse, all right? Like, he is absolutely corny. And I know he's young and a kid, but he's the type of person that takes as much as he can and gains as much as he can from a particular culture, and then he moves on. Like, he won't be in the sneakers in, like, the next five years. Like, it's just, it's just nonsense. Like, I mean, when I see him post nonsense, like, hey— I'll, I'll give you a like if you like my stuff. Like, that is whack, bro. Like, you a nerd. Like, you a geek. You a nerd. I'm not interested in it. Like, you shouldn't be involved with it. And Beard Man from Urban Necessities, him being attached to that, like, <laughs> he's getting bad, too. I used to be okay with him, and I'm still okay with him as a person. But his post, like, posting stuff, like, in the Louis Vuitton store, like, making decisions about a watch, that doesn't come back to humble that he tells us. Like... I don't need to see when I give you money at 
on sneakers, overpriced sneakers at your shop. I don't need to see you spend your money like that. I don't. Like, don't go to the Ferrari store and be like, I can't pick the red one or the white one. Louis Vuitton store, right? <laughs> the brown watch. Like, that to <clears> me is like, God dang, bro. I went to your store and spent 500 on human races. And like, you ain't got to, like, to me, I don't like that. Like, if somebody came to my store and spent $1,000 on, like, two pair of Yeezys or something, or a pair of Yeezys, I'm not going to be posting my next pick, like, you know, at Bentley. Like, <laughs> well, I will tell you right now that I will most likely in my life never consign another sneaker with any other store in the entire world except possibly Flight Club. Flight Club is possibly the only place I would ever consign a sneaker, and that's if I could not sell it myself. I, the shoe tuber thing is not for me. Um, I mean, I, again, this is well known. I'm an old man. You guys talk about it all the time. But there are shoe tubers. It's I like. not for me. I like Trady Kicks. Yeah, but that <clears throat> I like Lars Young. Mike, but I like Mike Rich. Wh- okay, I guess my definition of shoe tuber isn't so much like someone Kaisa who just makes stuff videos. Lately. I hate Kaisa stuff. I like Kaisa it stuff. It makes lately. no sense. What is it? What I like Teddy stuff. But that, never to me, that's video. not that's not being a shoe tuber. Like he's not selflessly promoting. Like you were saying, click this to like this, and I'll like you back, and blah blah blah. Should I introduce my girlfriend this week? Yeah, shut the, thing, the f up. The thing I, I think I like all corny. Though. The thing I think I like more about Teddy and Kaisa's stuff, and Teddy's has always been this way. Like it's 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 about shoes, and they do a good job of keeping it shoe related. But it's also I don't believe Kais. But it's also like a vlog, like a a vlog, like a. Uh, of almost like a reality TV show. Like I mean, it's like you know, you're like getting a, a look into somebody else's life, and sometimes that's entertaining. That now that's fine, but you're but also you got to take into account the person, their personality, and how they act. The person who you're watching. What's exactly. the content? Most of that stuff is not is to me is is corny. I d- like I understand where you're coming from. Is the same thing with the Jersey Shore question that was asked earlier. We watched Jersey Shore. They could have been a shoe tuber. Same kind of thing. That. The people that you're watching, it depends what that person specifically is doing to entertain people. Exactly. And to and make if you're just being yourself. Bigger, and like, yeah, but like, I don't believe that a lot of those people are. A lot of that stuff is just corny and I'm just the likes and clicks. Themselves. That's what it is. I just, no, 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 it is. I so don't, you, have you, do you watch Teddy stuff? Yeah. I haven't watched videos in a while, like probably two weeks. I haven't watched anything. Um, the only ones I have been watching lately, to be honest with you, is Teddy's. And then obviously, whenever I can, I watch the stuff on Complex. I've never um, watched a Teddy video, but I just like him. Just for more conversation and talk. I like, thing, I like Boo like, Shoes, so is that like, that's why I watch it. Because we've noticed with I mean, some, that's, that's real. We've noticed with some vloggers, <laughs> when they sit down with us, they're a completely different person when you go watch their videos. We noticed that with... Beardman, we noticed that with Tony D. Tony D. We Tony that. D. is a cool person in person, but that video jumping in Kool Aid and Doctor Weirdo it's, it's dumb. Like it's corny. That podcast when he was on there with Kais to talk about us, which they never said our name, is corny. He said his name was Sergeant Dickwad. Like that is not funny. <laughs> like that's corn ball stuff. Like but Teddy in his vlogs is the same person as he is when he sits yeah. Down that's what I'm referring to. And talks I don't know to us. That. I know him at just in person, so I take your. He word doesn't for do. He doesn't go out of his way to try to do. Go- I like him. That's go- he doesn't go out of his way to do goofy shit for likes and clicks. Same, the same thing you're saying. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't buy that with most of them. Every- I'm not going to say everyone, but the ones that I've watched, if you exactly what Greg just said, if you act one way in person, be that, person. and then you. Act a completely different way when you go meet fans at SneakerCon, YouTubeCon, whatever you want to call it, and then you your videos are clickbait, not in terms of just getting viewers, but clickbait in terms of doing corny shit to get those viewers. That's not for me. Um, Cameron uh, Dot Mayers, where do you see the culture in five to ten years from now? Who knows? Well, Starting I'll probably over. be. I mean, I'll still have shoes, but I won't. I mean, I'm, I doubt I'll still be recording a podcast. Hopefully, we, I, uh, we get a TV that show. That question or actually like comes later. Radio show or something yes, like we'll that. On, but we'll be on ESPN Kicks. That question. <laughs> hey, man. They just start hey, it. Man. Don't give people ideas. Um, five, I don't yeah, know. That's how he gave everybody fly, fly, fly. And two weeks later. No, he did. We gave everybody sneaker podcast. <laughs> that's, <laughs> like, fact. that's fact. That's um, fact. I don't know. It's I don't gone think from it matters. Three, to three million in. I didn't think a year. I didn't think sneakers were going to stop selling for three hundred dollars. 
I thought they would just keep selling for what they it, were. It's supply and demand. Is You're right, 100%. and I, and I don't know why I didn't think that, but I just thought like, oh, we'll buy a drill for one one seventy five. We'll still sell it for three fifty. I don't know why I thought that. You sold a pink phone for how much? Three fifty. You sold a pink phone posit for three fifty like a few weeks ago. There are still morons out there. Like, hmm? um, I sold a uh, taxi twelve for three twenty five. Cr- what? Lord, off eBay. Mm-hmm. Cristiano uh, and, char- and charge for shipping. <laughs> Cristiano. I sold um, DMX Run 10 for 100 bruh, bucks. No, you did not sell those for $100. I sent those for free to people who listen to the podcast. So did I. I sent a Jordan. Bro, you sent a beater. I sent a DS. The beater's probably still worth more than the no, DS shoe. No, it's not. That, not I get, we'll ask Lars if he cleaned it up. I guarantee you it's gleaming. You're, yeah, Lars, you rejuvenate that shit? That beater smelled like a haunted house. All right. <laughs> You're probably right, but all it needs is one, Lars, one, one, one wash. When Lars did that video, I literally saw a ghost. Like, <laughs> A ghost. Yes, it was like the boss level. He should have done Mario it. Brothers. He should have done it in the, in the dark with a with a black light. Um, Cristiano twenty one thirteen. Can SB be saved? Yes, it can. All they got to do is start retro. I mean, the stuff that we want. Be, yeah. be saved by who? I don't know if it can. I don't know if it can be saved. But like I said, things go up and down. So I think it'll be back at some point. But I don't know. Does that mean let saved them or? let them release a skunk? Tyler the Creator. We'd be can save we'd SBs. be we'd be camping. <laughs> We'd be camping. Let them release. Nah. Are no, you? I don't think I there's would. no more camping anymore. I, it won't. I Fine. Mean, Obviously, if camping's allowed, I'd camp. If camping was allowed for a skunk SB, I'd camp. Yes, you would. If, if you, if if you said, low, if you said if let's camp and record a show, then fine. If Tiffany, <laughs> if a Tiffany Lowe oh, dropped. Oh, shit, no. Would you? I sold over 400 I sold, so what? Pink foams? Yeah, Pink 400 foams for chips. $400. dollars um, Risto... 20, I'm not camping no more. You already know my answer to that. You would. For I'm not tif- camping. A, I'm not camping for no boost. A Why Tiffany, would I camp a Tiffany for that? SB low. A Tiffany SB low. You camp. Um, real quick. He. We got about four more left. One. We got about four or five more left. <laughs> we got a uh, Risto. Risto twenty three eighty nine. Uh, has How do you a, have all that stuff? If y'all can see the picture we're looking at right now, I have everything. Has Risto twenty three eighty nine? Has Adidas Yeezy line? No. Transcendent next. Nike Yeezy line? Yes. No. Nope. No. Air, yeah, Yeezy, Air Yeezy yes, two is has. the best Yeezy. Yes, it has. No. Nope. Next. Air yes, Yeezy two is the best. In terms Yeezy. of what? It's trans. It's just better. It's. I, I mean, better as far as like we all have a pair. What is the best Yeezy? Like Yeezy ever? twos and Yeezy ones don't even count. We we can't even get a pair. We could if we wanted. But to. that's not transcendence. I can't. I can't pay five thousand for Yeezy two. I can't. Like that's you a pair. Could if you I wanted can't. To. I could, but then I would be. But that's not transcendence. It's it's past Yeezy Nike. So. Okay, but what's, think about the, Yeezy what's Nike the greatest anymore? Yeezy Ye- of all time? Yeezy Adidas are more comfortable, but I don't know where else you would go from that. I don't see how I that's think transcendence. The greatest Yeezy of all time are Pirate Blacks three fifties. I do. See, I think solar twos. Of course you do. I think 350 Pirate Blacks. Pirate Blacks might be in the top 20 greatest things of all time. And I'm saying solar two, not even Red Octobers. <laughs> I think solars are the I best. I think so. I think Pirate Black Easy 350s might be in the top 20 greatest things of all time already. Um, Sneaker underscore Fiend 95. Future of the Sneak This Podcast. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, day by day. If you want to send us money, <laughs> Wednesday by Wednesday. If you want to send us money to I mean, promote, we're start, uh, George. Will, George will start a GoFundMe. <laughs> no, no, I'm the I'm the beneficiary of a GoFundMe that I knew nothing about. That's the story. Um, yeah, so somebody might start a GoFundMe for you and then take it? all your money and run. <laughs> as long as it's not money from my pocket, it doesn't affect me. Where do I see the podcast from now? I mean, I'm not stopping. Like we're starting our own channel. It depends. Bigger than complex. I hope that somebody pays attention to it and pays attention to us and sees. And I don't want to say how talented we are, talented we are, but our chemistry. I think our chemistry That's is the best on any stop. podcast. The, the 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 goal is not to be a podcast forever. It's to be something bigger, and then maybe we still record a podcast on the side. All right. All right. There you go. What do you want so, to be? That's a good answer. What? What, what do you want to be? A fireman. Yes, to be a fireman. That um, no, I want to be able to do this exact show, but on <clears throat> television or on wherever where we're making a, a something very good income to do the show. Um, and, abs- and it should be three hundred thousand. No, I mean 000, if you gave me 000? if you gave me decent benefits and doubled my current salary, I would do it. So forty uh, grand a year. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeehaw>. <laughs> Give me a rope of cowboy boots. Yeah. <laughs> 
Um, Absolute Styles. I've heard Greg say that has to be the worst sneaker of all time for a lot of shoes. What is truly the worst shoe of all time to you guys? You go I didn't know mine. I know mine. What's yours? Any Jeremy Scott animal sneaker. Ever. <laughs> Not even close. What do you got? You cannot have anything Not worse yet. than that. Facts. You cannot have anything what worse than got, that. George? George, come on. George, come on. Um, George, come go on. ahead. I'm going to have to think about it. DB13. DB oh, shit. Oh, yeah. I would wear DB13s every day before I ever I put a teddy bear on my foot. I think I honestly wear the teddy bear before I wear a DB13. At least the color is the same A teddy bear color. arms like this? Look, man. On your foot? I'm just different that day. A, a, a DB13 is the most tacky, if you had ugly, to wear for worst <laughs> materials. The entire shoe is a patent leather 13, basically, in teal, hot pink, and yellow. <laughs> it is the worst color combination of a sneaker of all time. The DB13, whether it's designed by a kid, a Nike, grown-up dog, or cat, is the worst sneaker of all time. Jeremy Scott animal sneakers. No. So what, the eight? What about the eight? Eight is, I mean, DBs are probably the, in the top. All DBs are probably in the top ten. Like <laughs> the entire top ten is. All he DBs. asked me that I want a DB one. <laughs> like, bro, what are you talking about? Yeah, I, was, I want a DB one. A, a DB two, <laughs> so awful. I wear a DB two. <laughs> a DB thirteen is the worst sneaker of all time. To Greg, what about DB three? George, what do you got? No, DB three is by one of the greatest of all time. Oh, I was like, wait a second, what? A DB three. That's a, quite a flip. What you got? I don't even know if I can pick anything. I mean, get it right something. <laughs> yeah, that. I uh, know I didn't go that far down on the on the questions. Pause. Um, yeah, it's episode sixty nine. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I would say like, honestly, anything from like that has an, that's an animal. Raf Simmons and any of that stuff to me is all awful. Raph Simmons are all that right. high fashion. Like that high. Yeah, but you guys just started liking it like oh, this week because you saw some. Weird. So, <laughs> yeah, it, so don't it doesn't lie. matter. Don't lie on Three me like that. <laughs> don't lie on me like that. Um, I don't care nothing about the high fashion. Kamani, stuff. Kamani, that I. Oh, actually, you know what? Uh, what's the one with the Bushemis? Bushemis, trash. Buschemi. Oh yeah, Whatever those kind of do suck. You with love the, with that like no, patent, patent gold and silver and stuff. No, trash. I like boost. Boost. What? The Bushemis, the ones with like, like the, the locks. Leather with the lock. I was thinking about like, the Bushwits. No. No, no, no. No, that's no, for, no. Yeah, that's um, what are those called. I don't know. Kamani.Isaiah, are retros dying? And where do you see this sneaker culture for five to 10 years? We sneaker answered culture. the five to 10 year sneaker culture. It's going gonna, gonna to go like this. So whatever was um, is it's up now to, is down. It's, is, yeah. it's going to shift to the kids that grew up with the Kobe's, KD's, LeBron's, and there Yeezy's. Going after that stuff, Jordan's. There will, will be, be better forgotten. technology out at yeah. that point too. There's so. better technology yeah, now than Jordan's. I'm about technology, but we still yeah, want to buy them. Jordan's. Like that's what I'm saying. We, we forget Jordan's. Yes, yes, Jordan's yes. have been coming out for so long. We forget that they started in like. 84. I'm not talking about like the what's the self lacing shoe. I'm not talking about when I say technology. That's that. not what I'm talking about. Boost is a technology that's only three years old. There's going to be something better in five to ten years that people will be going after. Exactly. Boost that's not, is better. What are you better, talking about? That's how boost. It works. Is better than Jordan ones, but people are still buying Jordan ones. There's nothing going to be better. Jordan than ones are more covered than boots. five or ten years. There's just what not. are you talking about? Unless they're hovers. Why Look how long it took that? for Boost to come out. It's a, Adidas have gone through so many different technologies. Things are slower stick. in the past, and then speed up as you get better okay, technology. Let's just do this. Jordan retros done. They're done. Kobe retros and stuff, they might they're, coming. they're gonna come out soon. LeBron retros, they're gonna start they're coming, coming out eventually. Possibly. And that's just that. That's okay. just it. LeBron retros have already started. Kobe they retros have. have already started. They're done. Okay. But Jordan retros are done. So Jordan's, in five to ten years, Jordan's the kids are, that grew up wearing Kobe's, LeBron's, Katie's. Like, think of like the kid now. Okay. Jordan's are ugly. But you're only talking about retros. That's the only portion that you're talking what about. What does it matter? Sneaker culture. A Jordan one through uh fourteen is ugly to a kid now. Why does he look so confused? What uh, you're saying that those ba Nike basketball shoes are going to retro and people are going to buy them? Okay, that's one portion of this. And that culture. will be the sneaker culture. The by people itself, that go after no, that it stuff. won't. Eventually, Jordans will just be like stories. I think there's going to be stories. Okay. What started? What does that culture? have to do with like the next thing coming out, the 4D or 3D shoe or whatever, whatever? What, what does about? that have to do with new Bruh. technology what coming out? What, what are you God talking with about? You in this 4D, he didn't ask us about technology. Huh? In five to ten years, what's the sneaker culture going to be like? I'm there's going to be something better. All right, we already talked about where the five to ten culture. There's two separate questions. He's asking us where retros are. Stop. 
and then where the culture is going to be. I don't care about our retros dying. We've talked about it a million times. Technology doesn't move. Well, I'm not going to say that anymore. I'm not going to say that, but it, you it literally just, want Vapor Max because it's new. It's a new thing. No, because it's it matters. It works. It's better than booze. So then, t- no, it's not. And then something booze else will t- come out that's better. And then another thing will come out that's better. And you'll keep going progressively from shoe to uh-huh. shoe. Well, obviously, when 112 came out after Boys to Men, you lost your mind. And Jagged Edge. Sankara Music. There, what are your. I picked Jagged Edge over 112, too. There, you're smoking. There was a period where 112 was on every number one song that Bad Boy made. Every song. 112 was on everyone. I handle this. And they only made. They were pretty much the reason why a lot of the. So. Jermaine Dupri, Sankara Music. Sankara Music. What are your top 10 sneakers that aren't Jordan, Nike, Reebok, or Adidas? We're not naming 10. I don't have that question. But New Balance, obviously, is period. Asics, Vans. period. Vans. Where's 100%. that question? Um, maybe I just send it to you guys. Oh, what do you guys think? You didn't send it to us. Yeah. Say, the question, again? Say the question again. Questions just came out, came later and later. You're not even on the mic. Oops. Stop questions. hitting your mic. Hello, hello. Questions came out later and later. Uh, what are your top 10 sneakers that aren't Jordan, Nike, Reebok, or Adidas? We're not naming 10, but Vans, Asics, Sockanese, New Balance. That's what I got. I figure you guys are the same Vans, thing. Vans, Asics, Sockanese, New Balance, and the, that other one. B- <laughs> Big that Baller Brown. That other one. Big <laughs> Baller <laughs> Brown. Caru. Big Baller Brown doesn't. Caru's. Caru? Crime Analysis Research Unit? Carhu. Carhu. Big Baller Brand doesn't exist Car-hoo because shoes. he can wear whatever he wants. The so. Big Baller Brand is not real anymore. Yes, Car-hoo. exactly. It doesn't exist. Car-hoo. Uh I don't know who that is. The, uh, what's the brand you got? That one, um, the soccer brand that's making like, yeah, like it. Yeah, Dior. There you go. Car who? Uh, last question. Car who's? Oh, and uh, you could put like Car who's coming to a manor. You could put like common near what is you it? Soon. Common project. What's the one? <clears throat> common. Common project. Common wealth. The shoe, the shoe that like kind of blew up with a kith or I, mean, I don't know that's where I know it from common um, common projects is that what it is maybe probably and then the other one that's similar to that one too I don't know. okay about if you can't are you think about filling pieces yeah there you go that uh, one okay. and then common something okay I like that all right last yeah. question oh uh, I just sent this to you guys no you didn't yawning uh this is from Finding Arizona Nemo. podcast this is a guy I've been talking to today cool dude podcast in Arizona. Do you see your sneakers as investments or swag? How much do you think your collection is worth? Well, Ryan's collection is worth about $2 million. <laughs> um, Yes, he needs to be on sneak peek. Uh, pause. <laughs> I think I don't look at it either way, but I think it does help that you know you that you're buying something that you can eventually get rid of and get yes. money back for. So that helps. That's really my answer. So like when I buy a t-shirt or pants or shorts, I know at some point I'm not gonna be able to resell that shit and get any money back. But when I buy a sneaker, I'm like, oh, you know what? I can eventually get money back for this. Uh, it depends Sixty forty. So I, yeah, I don't look at it like an investment, but I look at it, that as a positive <clears throat> fact about sneakers. Sixty percent. Investment forty percent swag. In the golden era, I don't care era, about swag. swag in the golden more. era, my collection was hundred percent swag. Was a Maserati. In this era, my investment is a Yeezy two worth what? like value. Like it's it was like it was a grip. Now it's worth nothing. Like I I left the value area. Like my my stuff is literally literally you I, haven't. I've shown you my eBay. I mean, I guess, but, but you had a pink foam in 2017. Like we so. don't have that. Like <laughs> yeah, we- that might be considered rare. <laughs> like I can't remember the last time I seen somebody wear a pink foam. I don't. I, I, I can't I, remember I the only, last time I I've only, had a foam posit in my hand. I could only. I mean, I got foam posits at home. I could only uh. sell Yeezys. Probably some Asics I have. No, you can sell anything because you sell it for I mean, I got some, dirt cheap, which is not that's advisable. Fine. Oh man, stop it. Like I don't got the patience like people have to like put something in a consignment shop mm-hmm. and let it sit there. Like okay. I understand. But it's then just you don't even know where closet. the money goes at the end, so why does it matter? Bro, that's my business, bro. Oh, there you go. Well, I mean, what do you want me to say? Like I just I'm trying to help point you to the fact that you can How make much more. How do you think your sneaker collection is worth? Not very much. Stop it. It gotta be at least worth fifty thousand, thirty thousand. What is yours worth? About a hundred thousand? I mean, if it's if you figure if you <laughs> figure fifty dollars, <laughs> <laughs> so, so I'm sick of that look. He sends that emoji a day. That mm, mm, I'm gonna just emoji. say I'm gonna just say I assume fifty bucks a pair. Hannah told me last time when I said how many shoes I had, I was way off because my niece and nephew counted them at my house. So we'll just say fifteen thousand. How many pairs do you have? She said they counted just in that room alone. Now, granted, some of those boxes are empty, so they don't know. But she said like two hundred eighty-six. That sounds like a lot to me. 
That's a lot more than I thought you had. It's more than I got. Exactly. I don't think that's right. I'm, but I I'm just going to say, like, pairs. I'm just going to say, like, okay. <laughs> you literally let the people who follow us on Instagram see 75 pairs fall on you. So we know that's not true. Those are fakes. Okay. Those, Those are, are empty boxes. boxes. Those yes. came from uh, DSK. You just saved boxes and sold shoes. Um, I'm going to say, like, 15,000. Who knows? That's every single question. Um, we appreciate everybody who's We got a question. shout out. It took a lot uh, longer than our guests. It, going to. it did. We got a shout out, our shout out Sunset and Palm Trees Clothing. Make shout sure you guys check them out. out. S- um, look S- them up. Go if you're at SneakerCon, go to their booth. Go to their booth. If you're going to SneakerCon in LA, go check them out. Say what up. YouTube. Follow them. Yeah, go to YouTubeCon. That's exactly what it is. When you're at YouTubeCon, go check them out. Check their table out. Talk to them. Chit chat. Check their brand out. You're in California. You need something for California to rock. Um, go on the court, shoot some hoops, do Ooh, something. Them sneaker tubers can't sh- can't Stay shoot. Stay anyway. tuned. They can't Got big interviews coming, big things coming, good people coming. Is there anything else? Uh, I mean, hopefully the camera's still on. I'm just gonna say that it is. And boys and men's better than one twelve. That's the you always got to get the last word. Sneakness. I'm trying to play one twelve. <laughs>